Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Take his better now. God bless all of you. You are welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Good evening. How are we doing? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Hey, you are my obsession. How are we doing with the fast? No food for three days. Holy Ghost. We can do it. We've been doing it anyways. You are my addiction. That's right. That's right. I'm addicted to you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> what about you? Oh, ragalagada bos kendere rebos. Yi bagada balabagado siye te te te. You are my addiction. You are my obsession, Holy Ghost. Eh, hey, kaya kate labagado siye te te te. Hey, intoxicate me. Hallelujah. Ye bagada 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 bala bagado si kere bo si da da bash. Ra bagado si ke ya da bash. Intoxicate me, Holy Ghost. Hey, mayanda, ida ba soko tori galagada bash. That's right. You are my addiction, Holy Ghost. You are my obsession. You are my obsession, Holy Ghost. You intoxicate me. I'm addicted to you. Oh, Jesus. I am a Holy Ghost addict. I am a Holy Ghost addict. Hey. Holy Ghost, I'm addicted to you. Holy Ghost, I'm addicted to you. That's right. Holy Ghost, I'm addicted to you. Oh, yes.
You are the air that I breathe. You are the song that I sing. Hey, Masha Katarabos Yadaba. Rabagados, Kenderebos, Sikatarabos Yadede. Oh, my God. You are the life I live. You are my all in all. You are my everything. Rakatalabos. You are my daily bread, Holy Ghost. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Lord, you are my daily bread. You are my everything. Oh, Makayarabos, Yerebos, Yaraba. You are my obsession. Hallelujah. 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 You are my addiction, Holy Ghost. Father, we love you. Just worship him. Just worship him. Just worship him. Welcome to another section. This is our third broadcast today. This is our third broadcast for our fast. We are having a three days dry fast. No food. Three days dry fast. The Bible says that some things, some situation will not change, will not go, except by fasting and prayer. And we are here tonight, we are here today to fast and pray and enjoy his presence and learn about his presence. Oh, Jesus. That's right. Can you hit the share button? Invite people. We have a guest speaker today. I will invite him when it's time. But I just want us to worship briefly, and then I'm going to invite him. Hey, Makala Lalabo shared about. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord. We are a generation that is not ashamed. And we are not afraid. Hallelujah. Generation. Yes, Lord. Yes, we are Lord. Not yes, Lord. And we are not afraid. Yes, Lord. To declare. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. La bagada bala bagados. E katarabos kendelele boshi kayarabos. O ragalagabas kentele boshi araba. Yes, yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. E katarabos kendele boshi araba. O karakatala bos kendelele bosh. O sita la baba 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 Rabagada bala bagados kendele araboshi araba. Oh Jesus. Hey, Jesus, Jesus, we are not afraid, we are not ashamed. Holy Ghost, intoxicate us. Holy Ghost, intoxicate us. E karabagada balabagados. E kete te 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 bagados. Si alala labash. Rabagada balabagada labagada ba. E kera kala kata ta 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 ta. E baso toro koto si kaya raba. La bagada raba shi re 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 bos. La bagado li bogodos li bragados ya rabas mason to robos kente te 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 hey how many holy ghost addicts do we have here today hey intoxicators holy ghost mashan talabas come on somebody worship him rabagada da 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 rabos ya rabas eke te 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 Rabagada da 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 bash. Eke te rabagado si alalabos. Mason torobos ken telebos. Ikarababa ba 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 bash. Labragados ken derere bosa. 
Begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Abagadosia, da ba 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 ba. Ekete ra bagadosia kalaka ta 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 ta. Iba katala ba katosi te di ba katolia. Mas konto robos kente yada bosia. Riba katala ba shinte yada bosi. Ikete ra ba katala ba kute rebosia. Iba gadada ba libogodosia tala ba 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 ba. Eke ra gadada da basa. Father, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. La bagados, le bagados. Yeah, de 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 de. E katarabas, e katalabam. Masantarabos, kenderiarabos. E brogo do 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 do. E katalabas, kentelebosia. Masontori bagada da 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 da. E karabas, kentelebos, e katalabam. E bagada ba 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 ba. E gede de 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 de. Le brogo do si katalabosia. Masontori galagadosia. I say pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Mare bokotori kala katosi interior. Raba kata libo kotori kadosi andalaba. E bagada ba yige de 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 de. I prakata laba kata rike lekete. Mas kontoro bosi kata yaraba. E bagada ba laba kadosi. E pakata ta 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 ta. E se te 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 te. Raba kada raba kada laba kada libo kotori kala katosi inter te 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 te. E kata ta 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 ta. Oh raga da raga da raga da. Le po kotori kala kato. Eke te 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 te. Eke te 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 te. Manda la ba kuteri kala kato. Raba kada da 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 da. Ibra kada da 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 da. Koreke te la ba kada libo kotosi ga kata la ba. E mason tori ala ba 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 ba. Eke te riba kato sintelia. Father we wa. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. We worship you, oh God. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, we exalt you. You are our life, you are our all, you are our everything. We bless your holy name. We adore you, Jehovah. We glorify your name, oh God. Holy Ghost, we worship you. Holy Ghost, we worship you. Father, we adore you. We exalt your majesty. We glorify you, O God, in the beauty of your holiness. Lord, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Father. We adore you, Jehovah. We lift your name on high. Holy Ghost, we worship you. Father God, we adore you. Ancient of days, we exalt you. We say, may your name be praised forever. May your name be glorified. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. You are the tower, our tower of strength. You are our giver of life. You are our confidence. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. E pasata, e pasata, e pasata kayaka tera kateli gadesinte ribra gada da 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 da. Eke te 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 te. I kata ta 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 ta. I baga da 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 da. Leke te ri kayaka te mas kontoro bosi kayaba riba da 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 da. Leke te riba da 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 da. Holy Ghost intoxicate us. Holy Ghost intoxicate us. Holy Ghost fill our lives. Raba da 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 da. Give us encounters, Holy Ghost. Give us encounters, Holy Ghost. Give us encounters, Holy Ghost. Turn our lives around. Leba da 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 da. Hey, shaka ta la 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 la. We want to do something. I want God to hear your voice. I want the Lord of Hosts to hear your voice. Wherever you are, I want you to sing in your own voice. Uh, I of the music now. I think the Lord, I feel it. I feel it like He wants to hear the sound of our own personal worship. Uh, wherever you are worshiping from, wherever you are viewing from, the Lord of hosts wants to hear the sound of your worship. Uh, he wants to hear the sound of your worship. Uh, right where you are, begin to worship Him. Uh, begin to exalt Him. Uh, begin to glorify Him. Begin to tell Him those sweet things you tell Him in your secret place. Uh, begin to glorify uh, Him. 
Mashika Tataba. Deba da 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 bossi karaba baba kure kete de bossi araba baba. Who is he to you? Who is who is God to you? Makatalabasa. Who is the person of the Holy Ghost to you? Ribakatalabashe. Ibakatalala la 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 la. You are my hope. You are my maker. You are my lover. The giver of life. You are my stronger monster. You are my bright, my tower of strength. You are my bright and monster. I worship your majesty. Come on, sing him that special song you sing to him. Sing him that special song right now. I told you before in our previous broadcast that the presence of God is right where you are. The presence of God is right where you are. The presence of God is right where you are. The presence of God is right where you are. Right where you are. are you a carrier? Yes, you are. As long as you are born again, you are the carrier of the Holy Ghost. You are the carrier of the presence of God. He lives in you. He lives in you. He said, don't you know that your body is the temple of God? Don't you know your body is the temple of his presence? My God, my God, my God. You need to catch it. You need to understand it. That wherever you are, you are a carrier of his presence. Wherever you are, you are a carrier of his presence. Even right where you are right now, you are in his presence. You are in his presence. If you are born again from the day you got saved, as I'm talking, the heat here is so much. Hey, Oh, Oh, my affections, I poured out. My eyes released those tears as I behold the beauty of you, Lord. Come on, sing him that special song. You are my dwelling place, my tower of strength, and at your throne of grace I humbly bow. Oh, my affections. Patience are poured out. My eyes release those tears as I behold the beauty of you, Lord. I just want to be where you are. Come on, somebody worship him, worship him, worship him. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dwelling daily in your presence, Lord Jesus. I I don't want to worship you from afar. Hey, draw me near to where you are. I want to be where you are. Dwelling in your presence. Feasting at your table. Surrounded by your glory. In your presence. That's where I always want to be. Yeah. Lord, I want to be. Lord, I want to be with you. I want to be where you are. Dwelling in your presence. Feasting at your table, Lord, surrounded by your glory, in your presence. That's where I always want to be, Lord, Lord, I want to be. Lord, I want to be with you. Oh, God, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. Lord, I want to be with you. My life I give to you. You are my tower of strength. You are my everyday dose. You are my everyday dose. You are my life. You are my strength. You are my hope. 
Jehovah, you are my everything. You are my everything, Lord. You are my everything. You are my everything. My confidence, you are Lord. My strength, oh God, you are. My hope, you are. My healer, Lord, you are. My keeper, Lord, you are. You are my all in all. You are my all in all. You are my all in all, Lord. You are my all in all. You are my all in all. You are my everything. You are my all in all, Jesus. You are my all in all. Hey, la, la, la. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. I am the Lord, I change it none. Hey, walk with me, and you will see my glory. I am the Lord, I change it none. Walk with me, and you will see my glory. I am the Lord, I change it not. Walk with me, and you will see my glory. 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 We worship you, Lord Jehovah. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Le bagado re de e kaya kata e bagada da boli ge de 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 e kure ke te 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 la bagado si e de de bosi e de de bosi e de ori galaga bo kaya 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 oh bagado do 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 bagado do 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 bagado do ri e de 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 e bagade de e bagade de de bagado si e ke te ri a da da Lord I worship. Lord, I worship you. Oh God, I worship you. The Mason Toria, E Pragada da Baige de de, E Sinteli Bagado ye, E Karagata la Bonderia, E Karagada da Baige de de de, La Bagada da Basi e de de Basi e de de Basi e de de, E Korokotori Kalagade, I Bogodo si ya ba 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 re na na la ba. E We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. You are Lord, our life, oh God. We adore you. We exalt you. The King of Glory, you are. Hey, la la la, bossi, ega da da da, bossi, ya da 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 da. Hey, kaye kaye, dareye. Oh, masoto ro boku te 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 baga da da da. Ike te te bossi, ya la la bo. Masoto ri kaya kate la gada ba ba ba. Kure kete ra bossi ya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I 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 thank you, Lord. Oh God, I thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. We thank you, la la la, bush. 
Eke ya gadada basi elele oh bagade de 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 la 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 Eke te 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 bagade te bagade de bagade ri ya da 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 oh basondo la 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 basi elele la bas kara de 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 la basi elele la bas Oh, si kala 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 si ada ada bo si ada ada bo eh oh raba ba 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 eh kara kete kete bagade 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 ne 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 oh Jesus 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 oh Jesus your presence is heaven to us oh God. Your presence is heaven to us, O God. Oh, si katala la la bo si ekete rabaga da 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 da. Eh rabaga dos kende la 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 bo si ya rabba 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 rabba. Oh, rigale gade bo 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 si ya da 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 bo si kete li ya rabbo si ya rabba. Lord, I worship you, Lord. Rabaga dos si ya da 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 bo si. You are worthy to be praised and adored. You are the Lord of hosts. You are the lion of Judah. You are the I am that I am. Unchangeable God, who is like you, faithful Father. Rabagada da ba si keteli ya rabosia. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. Father, we worship you, Lord, in the beauty of your holiness. Lord, you are worthy to be praised. We thank you Lord you are holy and forever you are God I worship you Lord you are holy Jesus I'm forever I'm forever I'm forever you are God I praise you Lord you are holy 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 Yahweh 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 I'm forever And forever you are God. Oh, la bagado si akata la bashi ere bo si teria. Le masonto ragada bo si kete te da bagado si kete rigada bo si. Lord, we worship you, Lord. Oh my God, we thank you, Father. We reverence your name. You are holy. El Shaddai. El Shaddai Elohim En Adonai Age to age You are still the same Hey Hey By the power Of your name El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Elohim, Elohim, and Adonai. I will praise and lift you high, El Shaddai. I never see any God like you. 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 Mashaka ya rabas. Thank you, Jesus. 
it's not i'm trying to see it's not rotating it's better sideways is it possible to put your phone sideways sir It's like this way is better. This way? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so I'll talk. I think we can hear you now. So I can start. Yes. Glory, 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 glory. Can you hear? Let me move let me move the iPad closer. Can you guys hear Papa? That, say something, sir. So they, so we, if let me see. Can you hear? Can you hear? Type yes if you can hear. Yes, sir. It's all clear? Yes. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, uh, Evangelist. God bless you for inviting me to this platform and for this wonderful day the Lord has made. Thank you so much. We are talking about in His presence. His presence. His presence is presence. His presence where God wants every believer to be. Place of refuge is a fortress. A place the coronavirus cannot get to you, cannot get to. When we talk about his presence, let me just give you some definition, some things that were just coming to my mind before we proceed to read the scriptures and share some stories in the Bible. It means a place where prayer is held. His presence is a place where prayer is held. What do you think is going to write about coronavirus? The strength has been taken and it's going to go down and go to very square because believers are praying everywhere. The four corners of the earth, people are praying. That's what's happening. In his presence, this place where prayer is heard, a place where humanity meets with divinity. It's a place of encounter. His presence, his presence is a place of divinity meet with humanity meet with divinity. A place where you build altar and make sacrifice. In his presence, his presence is the place where you build altar and make sacrifice. Like Abraham, Abraham made an altar, made a sacrifice, and God answered him. God met him in that place. It's a place where altars are built and sacrifices are made to the living God. A place where God reveals His secrets to those who seek Him. Let me emphasize this. In his presence is a place God reveals His secrets to those who love Him, to those who seek Him. It's a place God reveals secrets. Every for example, like this coronavirus, it has been prophesied over 20 something years ago. Somebody by the name of David Wilkerson in 1986 prophesied this, wrote it out. What's going to happen? And this is happening. Why? It's a place where God reveals secrets to those who are seeking, to those who love him. And that prophet about five years ago spoke about this coronavirus from Zimbabwe, I think. About five years ago. In his presence, when God reveals secrets of what is about to happen. And so, when you love God, you go to that place, his place, his presence. When you go to his presence, God reveals things to you. God will show you things you don't know. God will reveal things to you that's about to come. In his presence. It's a place where miracles are conceived. His presence is where miracles are conceived. You want to conceive a miracle? Go to his, pre his presence. When you are in his presence, miracles are conceived in that environment. The place of production. You cannot be in God's presence and not productive. You cannot be in his presence and lack. You cannot be in his presence and not be able You cannot be in his presence and come empty handed. You can never go into God's presence and be empty handed. It's impossible. It's a place of joy, it's a place of production, it's a place of the place of all that and sacrifice, it's a place where prayers are heard, it's a place where humanity encounters divinity. It's present. It's a place where few believers yet go. Because it takes time, it takes sacrifice, it takes prayers, it takes fasting, it takes the meditation 
study the word of God. It takes time. It takes time away from your schedule. It takes you away from your daily routine. It takes you away from your, your plan and, and your desires. When you are in his presence, there's something. It takes time away from your personal time. His presence. His presence. When you spend time in his presence, your time for personal self is reduced. Your pleasure for personal self is reduced. And that's why few believers dare to go there. Few believers dare to go to his presence. Why? Your time for personal pleasure is reduced. Your time for yourself is reduced. And more time is given to him. And the more time you give to me in his presence, the more time he gives, he gives to you. The more things he reveals to you. The more things he do for you. The more time he, he, he chooses you to speak to humanity. To speak to the human race. So that's where it, it that's why few believers dare to go to his presence. It's a place of glory. A place where flesh are consumed. When you are in his presence, carnality cannot stand. Flesh cannot stand. Faith cannot stand in his presence. And that's where few dare to go to his presence daily. We might go once a week, twice a week, but if you go to his presence daily, the something will be reduced. Flesh will be reduced. Joseph, he must increase. I must decrease. So when Jesus comes to you, when you are in his presence, you must be reduced. And he will increase. It's a place where God is increased and you are reduced. It's a place of humility. His presence is a place of humility. It's where man is humble and God is exalted. His presence. His presence. If you dare to go there, if you may go there once a week, twice a week, three times a week. But if you go there daily, if you go there daily, your pleasure time is reduced. But it will be glorified in you. When you speak, men and women will listen. But they will know you have been to his presence. You don't just talk anyhow because you come with a knowledge, you come with a word from God. When you go into his presence, you are coming back with substance. You are coming back with something when you go into his presence. It's the place where one is broken for the master. His presence is the place where you are broken. And so, of course, we are not broken enough because we are we don't spend enough time in his presence. If you see a man or a woman that is broken, you will know that man, that woman spends time in God's presence. If you see a Christian that is not broken, you know he spends less time in his presence. He says he's going to heaven, but he's not broken for the master. God wants you and I to be broken. And when you are broken, the master can use you. You can never be broken without you spending time in his presence. So if you want God to use you, if you want the master to use you, you must learn to spend time in his presence. And when you are in his presence, you are broken and he can speak to you and you will hear him and you can speak on behalf of God to humanity. What matter of man? Is this they said about it about, about, about the Christians? These are Christians in Corinth. Why? Because they said they have been in the observer, they have been with Jesus. You cannot be with Jesus and not be different. Something must be different in your life. Because the more time you spend in his presence, the more time you are broken, the more time he can be exalted, and the beauty and the glory can be seen in your life. It's a place you don't want to shrink for anything in the world. But when you are, when you come to know His presence, when you come to love His presence, it's a place you don't want to shrink for anything. You don't want to shrink anything for His presence. I pray this morning. I pray for you this morning. Learn to spend time in His presence, and the more you spend time in His presence, the less time you have for yourself. Hmm. The more you spend time in His presence. The less time you have for yourself. And the more you spend time in his presence, the more time God will give to you for yourself. <laughs> it works that way. We need to spend time in his presence. We are talking about his presence. He is present. His presence. It's a place, when you go to his presence, it's a place sometimes people will misunderstand you. Because when you are in his presence, 
Can you speak louder, sir? Yeah. It's a place where... Can you hear me now? Yeah, speak louder. In his presence, it's a place where you produce. A place where few believers dare to go. Is it clear? Is it loud? Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, they are saying they can't hear you clearly. Oh. Maybe it's your phone. The volume on your phone is not very loud. Is it possible to change my phone? Do you want me to call this one? Your other line. Uh, do you want? Okay, you want me to uh, turn this one off so that you. Yes. Call the other line. Okay. I think. I, yeah. Am I the only one who can't hear him? Uh huh. I would thought so too. It wasn't very clear. Let's see this one. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, can you see did me? I, did I call you on audio or video? The sound is, uh, the sound is slow, eh? It's low. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, yeah. let, let's see this one now. Say something, sir, so that they will... It's much better, right? Yeah, this is louder. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh -huh. Can you guys hear now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I think this hallelujah. is better. Confirm, confirm. Better, eh? Confirm. I, I feel so. I think hallelujah. So. Can you hear hallelujah. better now? Hallelujah. This is better, right? Yes, Absolutely. yes, they say yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, okay, we couldn't hear you. You may have to start all over again because we didn't hear very well. Some of us didn't hear okay, very well. Okay, 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 okay. Amen, amen. Uh -huh. Thank you again for inviting me, Evangelist. It's a great joy. It's an honor for me to be on the platform and to share the word of God with you and to the people of God. It's always a joy. It's always a pleasure. And thank you for today for this topic. His presence, in His presence, as I was saying, I said His presence is where God wants every believer to be, a place of refuge and fortress, a place where Corona can never get you, can never go to. His presence is where God wants every believer to be, but not every believer want to go to His presence for so many reasons. But let me say this: when we, when we talk about His presence, we are saying. It's a place where prayer is heard. A place where prayer is answered. What do you think is happening right now to coronavirus? The people may be saying you're gaining strength, but the momentum, the strength has been broken. Has been broken. Why? Because Christians all over the world, we are praying, everyone is praying, and the strength is being reduced gradually and gradually. Up it will go away. Why? Because his presence is where prayers are answered. I can tell you, all over Africa, um, Europe, everywhere, people are praying, and the strength of this coronavirus is being reduced. Why? Because of prayer. Because men and women, and churches are now going into God's presence to spend time and to ask God to move, and God is moving. In His presence is where humanity meets with divinity. A place where humanity meets with divinity is a place of encounter. It's a place where humanity meets with divinity. A place where God. I'm sorry, a place where altars are built and sacrifices are made. His presence is a place where you build altar and make sacrifice, like Abraham. Abraham built altar, he made sacrifice, and God visited Abraham. God manifested his glory with Abraham at that mountain where, where Abraham was building altar and making sacrifice. So in his presence is where God shows up for your life, for your prayers. A place where you build altar and make sacrifice. A place where God reveals his secret to those who love him. Let me say this. Very powerful. And go and medit meditate on this. 
a place where God reveals his secret to those who seek him. You want to know the secret of God? Go to his presence. God does not just dish up information and messages to every Christian, but he dish up information to those who seek him in his presence. So you want to know the secret of God. You want to know the secret of anointing. You want to know the secret of favor. You want to know the secret of how God wants to move and on behalf of nations and your life. Go into his presence. And his presence, God will show you secrets that not many people will know about it. And I use the example of David Wilkerson. In 1986, he gave a prophetic word concerning about coronavirus, what is happening now, about what, 34, 36, 34 years ago. Somebody saw this 34 years ago of this coronavirus. What will happen to New York? What will happen to the world? There are churches, a place, place of worship, bars and restaurants will be closed down because of what is happening today. Somebody saw that in 1986. So it's a place where God revealed things to those who come to him in his presence. There's another pastor, a prophet that saw this five years ago from Zimbabwe. Five years ago of what is happening today. That place of worship will be closed. People will be dropping dead like flies. So it's a place where God revealed things to those who seek him. In his presence, it's a place of production. You cannot be in his presence and not be productive. It's a place of miracle where miracles are conceived. If you go to his presence, it's a place where miracles are conceived. His presence is where flesh are conceived. The reason why most of us don't want to go to his presence because flesh are consumed. Most of us, we carry our flesh around, our proud, our arrogancy, we carry it around. And so when we go to his presence, these are going to be consumed. And therefore, we don't want to go into his presence because we want to be fleshy. It's a place where flesh are consumed. And when you see somebody with less flesh in them, know that they go to God's presence constantly. If you see a Christian that's in the flesh, can now, they still have carnality, they are still in the flesh. It's because they have less, they go to less, they, they, they spend less time in God's presence. Because you cannot spend time in God's presence and not be humble. You'll be a humble man and a humble woman when you spend time in God's presence because you have nothing to be proud about. Only Jesus Christ can be only be exalted. In, in his presence is where one is broken for the master. It's where one is broken. A, a broken man, a broken woman, is a man or woman that have learned to go to his presence. Before I go into the scripture, I just want to go through this. This was just going through my mind as I was preparing this. Go just download this in my spirit. A place you won't trade for anything in the world. When you have been to his presence, when you are in his presence, when you go to his presence and you see the joy, the blessing, the information that God downloads into your spirit, you don't want to trade that for anything in the world. A place where some people can easily misunderstand you. When you come back, you start talking, they will be misunderstood. Hey, you think that that you think you are that you think all that you don't think you are that you are that because when you spend time with God you be that you don't feel like you don't think you are that you are that if you spend time with God you be that there's a place God wants to take you alive and God cannot take you to that place until you find God until you go to God in His presence. There's a place God wants to elevate you to. There's a place God is calling you to. There's another level in life. There's another glory. There's another level God wants to take you. But he cannot take you there until you are in his presence. Because there are things he wants to download on you in that level that you cannot take it now. So, But when you are in his presence, God can download. God can release. God can give you information that all this, all this, will not have because you dwell, you stay in his presence. Somebody should shout hallelujah this morning because God wants to elevate you. God wants you to dwell 
in his presence. God wants to visit. The place God is looking for you, God is looking for you to be at his presence and have fellowship with you. Just as he did with Adam and Eve. You remember, God would come down in the cool of the day. And that's where God, God wants to, you to come to him at the altar. Stay at the altar. I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of Mary and Martha when Jesus I'm reminded of Mary and Martha when Jesus came. Jesus was teaching. The Bible said, Martha, was it Mary? Martha sat, sat, Mary sat, sat at the feet of Jesus. Mary sat at the feet of Jesus. Mm. At the feet of Jesus, Mary sat. Why? Martha was busy. Martha is a Christian, so to speak. Mary is a, both of them Christian. They love Jesus. They know Jesus. But Martha was taken by many things. But, but Mary was taken by his presence. Two sisters, same family, same home. One paid attention to Jesus. One was just, I want to know about Jesus. That's okay with me. But Mary said, no, I want to go beyond just, I want to be in his presence. And Jesus said to Martha, you are troubled, you are worried by so many, you are consumed by so many things. And the reason why God cannot download on you, Martha, is because you are so busy. I don't see you. You go in and out, you go in and out. But Mary sat at the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. What Mary got that day can never be taken from her. You want to know more about Jesus? Spend time at his feet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. So now amen. let's go to the book of Psalm, Psalm 16, verse 11. I'm going to download today by the grace of God. Let us download the word of God. Psalm 16, verse 11. Psalm 16, verse 11. This is what the Bible says. Pay attention carefully. You will show me the path of life. David, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Not sometimes, not just a few times, a few days. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. You will show me the path of life. David said, God, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forever. David is saying, in God's presence, you find joy and pleasures. Who don't want that? In his presence, there's joy, there's pleasures. So I, I, I'm surprised if we don't want, we're not running all the time into his presence. Why? Because that's where joy is and pleasure. See, there's no pleasure in alcohol. There's no pleasure in drugs. There's no pleasure in prostitution. There's no pleasure in sin. You may have pleasure for a season, but there's no everlasting pleasure in them. The pleasure and joy comes in spending time in God's presence. Mm. And David said, you will show me the path of life. You will show me. Because in the path of life of God, in his presence, there is joy. And there's pleasures. There's joy. There's pleasure. There's joy. There's pleasure in his presence. Outside his presence, there is no life. Mm. Outside the presence of God, there's no life. Why do you see some Christians are dried? They are Christian, they are dry. Why? Because they spend less time in his presence. The more you spend time in his presence, the more you go to have life. The more you have joy. See a Christian without joy, you know they have not they've not been spending time in his presence. Because joy comes in the presence of God. Joy does not come from alcohol, from wine, from drugs. Joy comes from the presence of God. And so if you want to have joy, spend time in his presence. You want to have pleasure, spend time in his presence. Outside his presence, there's no life, there's no joy. There's no pleasure. It's destruction and failure and disappointment outside his presence. Outside his presence. I begin to think, I begin to look as well, men and women that spend time in God's presence and they left with joy and, and, and pleasures. You look at the life of, 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 of Hannah. Hannah was a woman that was married to a killer. For many years, she was barren. But the Bible says, year by year, she go to Shiloh, to the temple, the headquarters church. 
to make sacrifice. On one particular day, she said to herself, no, enough is enough. She went into the temple. The temple is not a big deal. Thank God for the temple. But she went into the temple knowing that she wanted to have an encounter with God. She sat. Nobody else was there, I suppose. Just her and the priest, I suppose. She was there having an encounter in God's presence. Mm -hmm. She wept. She cried. She prayed. She murmured. She spoke within her heart. But her mouth was moving. Her lips were moving. She was in God's presence. Because in God's presence, that's where miracles are conceived, are both. She went into the presence of God and said, God, I want a solution. I want an answer. Because it's in his presence is where prayers are answered, where prayers are heard in his presence. And so she was in God's presence. She was praying and said, God, I want an answer to my problem. What is the issue you have? The issue you have, all it needs is you go into his presence. You cannot go to God's presence and your issue not resolve. Mm. Remember the issue, the woman with the issue of blood? She said, if I can touch the hem of his garment, if I can go into his presence, if I can be within the circles of his presence, I will be made old. That's what the presence of God will do for you. It would change your destiny. It would change your life. It would change his presence. Would change your story. I come to tell somebody right now, hear me. Your story is about to change. Amen. You cannot spend these three days with God and your story not change because you are in His presence, His fullness of joy, at His right hand, a pleasure forevermore. You are coming out with a testimony. Hannah, the issue, do my issue, blood went into the temple and began to pour her heart before the almighty God. We are talking about in his presence. In his presence. So while she was there, she was talking to God. Even the prophet Eli perceived that she was drunk. She was misunderstood. That's why I said at the beginning, sometimes when you are in God's presence or you are out of God's presence, people see you, you might be misunderstood. Mm. Because they don't know what God is downloading in you, what you are unloading to God, and God is downloading something in you. They don't know at that, at that particular moment that you are having a communion with God. Mm. You might be misunderstood. Don't worry when you have spent time with God and you are being misunderstood. Time will tell. Testimony will reveal. And the woman of God said to the prophet of God, man of God, I'm not drunk. I'm spending time with God. I went into his presence. I'm communion with God. The man of God could not help us say, may the God of the Hebrew grant your request. Hallelujah. And I say to somebody, hearing my voice, under this platform, may the God of the Hebrew grant your petition for you. Amen. May you come out of this prayer and fasting with testimony, with fire in your belly. You will come out. I prophesy, yes, you are coming out. We test me just as Hannah came out of God's presence, and, and it was evidence. There was evidence. There was a testimony. There was Samuel as a testimony that Hannah was in God's presence. Mm -hmm. And the greatest joy was remember this. And the Bible said of Samuel, the greatest prophet that ever lived. Can you turn on that TV and live there? Okay. The greatest prophet that ever lived. This was a, this was, this child came out of a barren womb. This child came out of the womb of a woman that spent time in God's presence. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, something is coming out of your womb this season. You may not be, it may not be physical baby, but something is going to come out of you. This season, where this is season of Easter, it's a season of celebration. It's the season of his death and his resurrection. It's the season that his presence is being manifested and the glory is being manifested upon the earth, upon humanity. You're going to come out with something. Amen. You're going to come out with something. Amen. David said, you will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy. So joy comes in your presence and pleasure forevermore in your presence. 
So you cannot be in God's presence and not have joy. That's why Corona cannot get you because you are in His presence. You are sheltered. You are covered. That's why disease cannot take you. Unemployment cannot break your spirit. Final money cannot because you don't have money. Cannot, your spirit cannot be broken because in His presence needs are met. Barrenness are cast away. Result comes. You also remember. You also remember the story of of of, of uh, King Hezekiah. The Bible said King Hezekiah was sick, and the prophet of God, renowned prophet, prophet Isaiah, the one of the greatest prophet that ever lived. Mm. One of the greatest prophets that ever lived, Prophet Isaiah. He came with integrity. A man that is known with integrity, he prophesied what he said happened comes to pass. Even prophesied about the birth of Jesus Christ, 700, 800 before it happened. This was a man of God. He came to the king. He came to the king and said, King Hezekiah, you are going to die. Write your will down. Get this ready. You are going to die. <laughs> I'm talking about in his presence. Yes, yeah, so. Something happens when you are in his presence. The Bible said when the prophets left, the prophet said, Ezekiah, you are going to die. Ezekiah, no. He knew. After the prophet said that, it is done. It is settled. It has been signed. But the man of God, uh, the king said, no, no, no. I can change this. Let me go to God's presence. Mm. Hey. You can change it if you go to his presence. That's right. That's if right. Don't, don't, run to, don't run to the bank. The bank has no solution. Mm. Don't run to the doctor. Thank God for the doctor. But they have no solution right now. Who has the solution to this coronavirus? It's only the church, the prayer that is working. It's not medication that is working. It is prayer that is working. Don't just run to everybody. I need help. Oh, let me run to my uncle. Let me run to my brother. They have no answer to your mm. question. Only God. They have no answer to your problem. Only God. And the way you get them solved is going into the closet. Is going into his presence. The Bible said the prophet left and the king turned his face toward the wall. Towards the wall. God is me and you. I've heard what you said. You said I'm going to die. But Lord, I don't want to die. Remember the good things I have done. Remember my history. Remember my past. Mm. How I loved you. <laughs> I don't have walked with you with upright heart. You may not be able to say that, but you can say, God, look at the blood of Jesus. I know I'm rotten and bad, but look at the blood of Jesus. Look at the cross. Because of the cross, remember me. Because of the blood of Jesus, healed me. Because of the blood of Jesus, set me free. Because of the blood of Jesus, meet my needs. The Bible said the, man, the, the king prayed. And while the prophet was going out, God spoke back to the same prophet. He said, go and tell Ezekiah, I've heard your prayers. I've seen your tears. I will add 50 more years mm, mm. to your enemies. Hallelujah. And I will, and I will defeat your enemies. Mm. Those who have pointed fingers against you, those who have laughed and mocked at you, they say you are going to die. You are not going to die. You are going to live more. You will testify that God is great. I don't know who I'm talking about. Talk to this one, but I'm talking to somebody. This week, after this week, he spent time in his presence after this week, after this prayer fasting, after the, after this week, you are coming out like a Zachariah. You have been in your sick bed, you are coming out of that sick bed. The glory of God will touch you in a supernatural way this week. I believe starting from this hour, God is touching your situation. And the Bible says, Ezekiah, the, the, the prophet went back to Ezekiah and said, don't worry. The Lord said, I have heard you. Hmm. Why? The, the reason why Ezekiah didn't start to write his obituary, he didn't start to write his will, he didn't start to call his family members, you know what, God said, the prophet said, prophet Isaiah said, I'm going to die, so let's plan my burial, let's plan how I'm going to write my will, let's plan who's going to be the next king. He didn't call Paul and say, let me just drink and just die. I know I'm going to die anyway, let me just drink, let me just have a party, the last party. No, what he did. He went into God's presence. 
Don't write your will. Don't write the final chapter of your life. Mm. Don't write it. Don't, 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 don't. I don't care what the government is doing. I don't care what's happening in your country. I don't care the economy is bad. I don't care the, 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 the health system is broken. Let me tell you, God is your healer. I don't care how broke the economy is. I don't care how many people are losing jobs. I don't care if you have even lost your job. In the days of Elijah, there was national drought. But God took care of Elijah. Amen. That same God will take care of you. So don't write off your life. As long as you still have your breath, don't write off that career. Don't write off, don't write off that your dream. That desire. Don't write it off. I'm telling you, I prophesy, there's some, there's going to be a turn around this week for you. You have a testimony, you have a miracle. King Ezekiah had a miracle, had a testimony. 15 more years was added to his life. God silenced all the enemies around him. Muri Kashandaba. I'm talking about in his presence. In his presence. David said, in his presence is the fullness of joy. And his right hands are pleasures forevermore. Mm -hmm. Remember David, remember, remember, remember Paul and Silas. They were preaching the gospel. They were locked up in prison. <laughs> the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Right now, coronavirus, like he has locked up many people. Locked them up at home. You can't go out, you can't go in. But the devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. The only way out of this coronavirus is you going to his presence. The only way out of that predicament you are in is only in the presence of God. What are you doing? Where are you spending your time? Mm. But the more time you spend in his presence, the less issue you are going to be fighting. The more you spend time in his presence, let me tell you, be careful now. I know what I'm saying. Be very careful. We spend a lot of time these days on social medias. That is fine. We start communicating. We still communicate with friends and family. But sometimes drop that telephone, drop that cell phone, drop that remote control on TV, drop that food on your table, go to your closet. Shut everything out. It is you and God. That's what it means. His presence. That means it simply means you and God. You say, as for me and my Joshua say, as for me and my house. We will go to his presence. As for me. As for me, it's, I don't know somebody else about somebody else or somebody else's family, but for me and my house, we spend time in his presence. Because when I'm in his presence, God communicates, God speaks, God reveals secrets to me. For example, and that's why I knew within my heart, uh -huh. not coming to my house. I knew. It will not come to my house. Amen. I knew it will not, I had a peace of God. I prayed and I knew it's not going to come and then it will never come. Amen. Because you can't be in God's presence and be afflicted. Mm. If you are being afflicted, you get delivered. You'll be free. It becomes a testimony. God will heal you and deliver you and turn it into a testimony. Mm. But for me, I don't want to go to that level. Hallelujah. Remember Paul and Silas? I'm talking about Paul and Silas. They were in jail. What did they do? The Bible says they pray. They sang. They pray. They sang. Because when you are praying and singing, what happens? You are in his presence. That's what you do in God's more presence. Of his presence. That's what you do. You sing, you pray, you worship. You give him times in his presence. And when you are doing that, chains will be cut off. They didn't say, God, come and cut off my chain. God, come and heal me. All they just do, God will worship. We give all the glory. As they were worshiping God, deliverance came. Help came. Let me tell you, the more you worship, the more you are in his presence, the less you are going to be petitioned for what you are going to eat, what you are going to wear. Less. Because... He takes care of that already. We're going to get to that. Because uh, the, the evangelist says, I, I, I can take as much time. Take all the <laughs> so, time. 
<laughs> we, have, we, we are here till next tomorrow, so take all the time. Yeah, so, so I'm going to take my liberty take it from, from, the, from the evangelist. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We are talking about his presence. Yes, sir. What happens when you see God's presence, you will walk in victory. Mm. When you see God's presence, when you are in his presence, because he will give you directions. He will speak to you. Hmm. He will speak to you. He will give you direction. He will speak to you. You see, remember, uh, yeah, I'm talking about it. it just came to me about Elisha. Elisha. The Bible says the, 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 the army of, 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 of Assyria was coming to fight, to take, to take Elisha. And Elisha was at home sleeping. Elisha was at home. And the army of Assyria were coming to seize him and to take him. Mm. And the Bible said the servant of a, of a, of Elisha <laughs> stood through the window that their house were surrounded with with horses and chariots with arrows and bows. First, and so the second. servant went to to his master and said, "Master, hey, we're in trouble. The armies we are surrounded by armies." We are surrounded by horses and chariots. <laughs> and man of God kind of smile. Elijah smile, don't worry. He said, because those that are with us are more than those who are against us. Why? Because it's a man who spent time in God's presence. He knows already what God is capable of doing. He's not afraid of the virus. He's not afraid of the weapons of the enemy. He's not afraid of the disease and all the fears and all the all the fears that are all the terrorist news that, that are being published, that are being announced over televisions, over everywhere. He was not moved because he knew that greater is he that was in him than he that was in what I'm talking about in his presence. And for him to prove that point, he said, God, open my servant eyes that he might see. Second Kings 6 from, from 14. Hallelujah. He said, open my servant eyes that he might see. And when God opened the servant eye, he saw that the army that was with them were more than those surrounding them. What happened? Peace came. Let me tell you, church. Let me tell you, believers. Let me tell you, those who are on this platform. God is bigger yes, than sir. what is surrounding you. Yes, so God is bigger than that note you got from your boss. God is bigger than what the doctor is telling you. As a matter of fact, before I just came on the line, I got a call from my sister-in-law in Nigeria, in Benisiri, that he, had, he just had a baby about two or three weeks ago. About two weeks ago, he just had a baby. Now, he was having some something last night. They went to the doctor. The doctor said, this is happening. I prayed for her so I relax. With confidence, I decree and I declare over her life. I said, it's going to be well with you. Because I, because I know greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's right. Elisha told the servant, don't worry. I'm telling you this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are, don't worry. Where your next meal is going to come. Mm. Don't worry what is going to happen to you and your family. Mm. God is bigger. Amen. God is greater. Amen. God is mighty. God is smarter. Amen. God is wiser. Amen. God is richer. Amen. God is big. Amen. How can you compare God, the maker of heaven and earth, the God of the Hebrews? Whom can you compare him with? The God that reveals secrets of King's heart to prophet, how can you compare that God with the gods of this world? Remember, even the book of Proverbs, book of Proverbs 24, 10, it said, if you faint in the days of battle, your strength is small. <laughs> this is the days of battle. Don't don't give up. Don't, don't, don't faint. Don't cave in. Because the Bible says your strength is small if you cave in. God expects you to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So I was going, I said, let us go to the book of Second Chronicles. I don't know if I said that. Second Chronicles chapter 26, verse 4 and 5. Second Chronicles chapter 26, 
verse 4 and 5. When you seek God, His presence, you will walk in victory. When you seek, when you are in His presence, when you seek His presence, you will walk in victory. This is what God said about King Uzziah. This is what God said, the scripture said about King Uzziah. Second Chronicles 25 or 26? 26. Okay. Second Chronicles chapter 26, verse 4 and 5. When you walk or when you seek God's presence, when you seek God's presence, you will have victory. You can never be defeated when you seek his presence. In Second Chronicles 26, Verse 4 and 5. Let me read. Say, Uzziah was 16 years old when he became king, and he reigned 52 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jehola jo jo of Jerusalem, and he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. He sought God in the days of Zechariah. He sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, as long as he sought the Lord, to sought it means to seek the face, to seek the God's, God's presence. As long as he sought the presence of the Lord, God made him prosper. God gave him victory. As long as he sought the presence of God. As long as he sought the presence of God, Amen. God gave him victory. Hallelujah. When you seek his presence, when you are in his presence, you can never be defeated. No sickness, nothing can defeat you in his presence. Nothing can defeat you in his presence. Let me take, for example, those of you who are fathers and mothers. Let me use the evangelist now as an example. Let's say the, the son, somebody who's bigger than his younger son, chasing the son, and the son runs back home. You think the evangelist will be just looking and be laughing? He will stand in between the son and that person. Yes, sir. You can't touch me. This is my baby. You, can't, you dare not. You dare not touch my son. I don't care what my son has done. I can... Discipline my son, but not you. I can talk to my son, but not you. You dare not. That's how it is. We are God. The devil can dare not touch you. Before the devil touch you, let him meet with God. Mm. Let him meet with Jesus. Let him meet with the blood of Jesus. Mm. So you are covered, you are shared. As long as you are in his presence, you have nothing to fear in life. And that is why the Bible keeps telling us from Old Testament to New Testament, fear not, fear not. Why would it say fear not? Because the mighty one is on your side. God mm. is on your side. So God will say fear not. Fear not the gods of the Amorites. Fear not the gods of the land. Fear not the gods of America. Fear not the gods of Africa. Fear not God the the gods of Asia. Why? Because God is bigger than every other gods. Hallelujah. Other gods are man-made. They have eyes they can't see. But your God can see. They have legs. They can't move, but your God can move. But David said, in him we live. Paul said, in him we live and move and have our being. In him, in him we live and move and, and have our being. In him we live. In him that the devil is alive. So when you seek his presence, you will walk in victory. And that you must understand, God promised to hear those who call on his presence. So when you call on the presence of God in the days of battle, whatever it is, we're talking about his presence. So when you call on God in his presence, he promised to answer. These are some of the promises the Bible gave to us in Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 7. God promised to hear us when we call on him. Call on his presence. When we seek him, he promised to hear us. Second Chronicles chapter 7. Second Chronicles chapter 7, 13 and 14. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Verse 13 and 14. He said, when I shut up heaven and there is no rain, when I, it is the devil or demons, 
or won't use a wizard. God said, if himself, if I shut up heaven and there is no rain, or I command locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people, God himself is speaking and saying, if himself, if he shut up heaven, there's no rain, and, and send locusts to devour your finances, your economy, to devour whatever it is. He said, and I will send pestilence among my people. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. Listen carefully. Listen. If we will humble ourselves and pray and seek my face, that's what I want to talk about. Seek my face. Mean, it means to seek his presence. So many times we seek the hand of God. Give me, 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 give me money, give me wife, give me child, give me school, give me money, give me ticket, give me visa, give me this, give me that. God said, not after that, that will come. We say, seek my face. My face means come it because when you are in somebody's face, it means you are beholding him. When you see God's face, it means it's a time of worship, it's a time of praise, it's a time of adoration. You don't just come to ask or give me, give me. But God says, seek my face. Mm-hmm. When there's sickness, when there's calamity, when there's pestilence, when there's coronavirus, seek my face. Hallelujah. My face, through my face, that's where the glory of God is. That's where the anointing, that's where God speaks, that's where the mouth, that's where God speaks from, his face. That's where God behold. That's where God looks at every situation all around. He looks, he hears. With, from his face, from the head, the ears are there, the mouth is there, the eyes are there. That's where God behold and speak and behold the situation upon the face of the earth. He said, even if I showed up heaven from rain, and I said, locusts and pestilence, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and who will seek my face, seek my presence, if you seek my presence, if you come into my house, if you come into my presence, if you come into my anointing, into my glory, if you come into where I dwell, if you come into that position, instead and turn from your wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I forgive your sin and I will heal your land. So God is saying, if you come into his presence, I will listen to you. I will listen to you. So it is very important, very essential that we know how to seek his presence. God is looking for you and I daily. Where can I find Victor? Victor, I need you. Victor, I need to speak to you. Victor, I need to. I need your attention. Victor, there are things I want to do upon the face of this. I cannot do it until I speak to you. Victor, there's something as assignment I have for you. I have assignment for you. But if you don't come to my presence, I cannot speak to you. I cannot give it to you. Victor, I need to see you. I need to see you daily, not sometimes. Spend time with me. See, the, the, no, we must understand the reason of God's creating humanity was for man to spend time with Him. We, we are so much into everything this day, but the reason why God created you and I was for companionship. God wants us you to keep Him in to keep in company, so He can keep your company, so we can be in His company. And that's why in the book of Genesis, the Bible says, in the cool of the day, God will come. Because God wants your fellowship. God wants you. The reason why you are dry, sometimes you say, I don't understand what is going on. It's God is calling you, come. The reason why you are dry, are dry sometimes, is because we are not always in his presence. Mm-hmm. You cannot be dry. Oh, someone said, oh, oh God, I, I don't know. I, I want God to speak to me. God has not spoke to me for some time. The reason why, because you are not there for him to speak to. How can God give you a message when you are two miles away, seven miles away from his presence? Hmm. You might be in church. <laughs> you might be in church. You might be on your knees praying, but you are not there. Your mind is slowly 200 miles an hour. Oh, how do I get that contract? How do I get that woman? How do I get this problem? How do I get this? No, you are not there. 
total submission it means total submission empty yourself in his presence and he will download and download a second with god a second with god five minutes with god 30 minutes with god one hour with god three hours with god four hours with god have you spent hours and hours just lie down you prostrate you and god you shut everything off family food clothes everything television you shut everything off you close that door you lay flat on your belly Hallelujah. it's just you and god sometimes don't do too much talking just say god i'm i just i'm here at the altar for you say to me whatever you want to say to me do to me whatever you want to do to me send me to whatever you want to send me I always like what the virgins always say most of the time. You say, you say, you say, I just don't go anywhere. I don't go to any country where God don't ask me to go. I hear God before I do whatever, before I do something. I hear God, then I move. I hear God, then I move. And when you hear God, you move. You can never regret. You can never regret. Money, no, money is not the first thing. It's God because when God speak, money will come. When God speak, partnership will come. When God speak, everything will fall in place. Thank you, Lord. Have you been spending time with God? Mm. Into His presence. They said of the of the New Testament Christian, they have truly they have been with Jesus. You cannot be with God. People must recognize. People will see it. They can misunderstand you. That's okay. But at least they will know something is happening. They will know life. You have changed. They will know there's something about you. People will know. They will know. You don't have to tell them, oh, I've been in prayer for today. You know what? I've been fasting for the last 20 minutes. Oh, I've been fasting and praying. You don't have to tell somebody that. They will know. Oh, my, 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 my. No, people will know. Hallelujah. Let's go to Second Samuel chapter 21. I just want to read one verse. Second Samuel chapter 21, one verse. I'm talking about God promised to hear those who come to his presence. When you're his presence, God will hear you. Second Samuel 21, verse 1. Second, Second Samuel 21, verse 1. God promised to hear those who come into his presence. You cannot come to God's presence and not hear from God. You cannot come into his presence and go empty-handed. In 2 Samuel 21, verse 1 says, Now there was a famine in the days of David for three years. Listen to this. Now there was a famine in the days of David for three years. Year after year, and David sought the face of the Lord. <laughs> mm. For three years, there was famine in the land. Year after year, trapped, no food, famine. People going crazy. Then the Bible said, and David sought the face of the Lord. You can say, and David sought the presence of the Lord. Or you can say, David went into the presence of God. David called on the presence of God. And the Lord said, there's blood guilt on Saul and on his house because he put the Gibeonite to death. Let me read it again. I will talk a little bit again. Now, there was a famine in the days of David for three years. Year after year, and David sought the face of the Lord. And the Lord said, David went into God's presence and God spoke. For three years, there was issue in the land. There was no food. There was famine in the land. For three years, year after year. So he came to David, according to David. 
let me see God situation. So many times we just oh this is going on this is going on. I don't I, I don't and you don't want to pray. You don't want to see God. You just kind of oh you just pray like you can pray. Oh God help me out. God said, but it came to a point. He said no. This is this is time for me to go to His presence. I really pray and really talk to God. And the Bible said, and the Lord God said, but David sought His presence and God spoke in His presence to the ear of David. Do you have family going on? Do you? I'm talking to you, listen to me. Do you have an issue going on for the last six months? The last 12 months? The last two years? Don't you think it's time to seek the face of the Lord? It is time. So David was getting frustrated. David was getting tired. This is crazy. This is, this is this is uncalled for. Where is God in this matter? Mm. So David has seen God's face. He sought the presence of the Lord. And the Bible says, and God said. God told David what was going on. God wants to talk to you. Amen. God wants to talk to you. Mm. I wish I can. I can sing like the, like the evangelists have started singing right now. I wish I can I have that voice. I can just sing it right now. Because God is ready. It's about time you go and seek his presence. Do you remember what David said in Psalm, in Psalm, 6, Psalm 16 verse 11? He said, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. That was David. That same David sought the Lord. He said, God, for the last two or three years, I didn't see any joy. There's no pleasure. I've been king. Yes, I'm still king. People are dying. There's no food in the market. There's no food in the grocery stores. People are angry. People are getting frustrated. Lord, what is the problem? So David stepped down from his altar. He stepped down from his throne, so to speak. He stepped down, so to speak, and he sought God. Mm. It's of God. He said, I don't know what he did by himself or call a group, but the Bible said, David sought the face of the Lord, and God said. David sought the face of the Lord, and God said. God, he said, God, God wants to say something to you. Amen. But you can only say it in his presence. Mm. Not in the presence. Oh, I'm getting frustrated. You are crying. Crying will not solve it. Frustration will not solve it. Mm. Anger will not solve it. Throwing away your Bible will not solve it. Stop going to church will not solve it. Just like a baby. Throwing a fit. You are just prolonging the issue. Mm. As in his presence. Hallelujah. David knew that and David saw the Bible said, David saw the face of God. I plead to you, my brothers and sisters, and to myself. Let us go back to the closet again. Amen. <laughs> Let us go back to the closet. The the homosexuals are coming out of our closet. They should come out and expose. But we should go to the closet. Mm. We need to go to the closet. Hallelujah. So can hear from God, so God can speak to us. There are so many things that we need to hear from God about. It can be personal issue, it can be ministry issue, it can be national issue, it can be global issue. That's right. It can be global issue. Oh, oh my ministry is small, my church is small. Who tells your church is small? Tell your ministry is small. God can speak to anybody. Mm. Just speaks. Oh, I have to have a bigger platform. What platform do you need? The platform you need is Jesus. Exactly. Oh, I have to have money. The money you need is in the hand of God. Yes. Oh, I have influence. The influence is in God's hand. Mm -hmm. Everything you need is in His presence. Hallelujah. Only well, just go into His presence and you find what you are looking for. That's where you will find it. In, in Psalm 50, verse 15, this is David also speaking here. Psalm. Psalm 50, verse 15. Psalm 50, verse 15. He said, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you. But you shall glorify me. 
um, 50 verse 15. He said, call upon me in the day of trouble. Come to me. You have issue in life? Come to me. Say, I will deliver you. I will deliver. It's a promise. That's one scripture I, I, I declare over my sister in law this morning about 10, 15, or 20, how many minutes ago I spoke, I prayed with her. I declare that scripture over her. Call upon me in the day of trouble. Say, I will deliver you. It's a promise. It's a covenant promise. When you go to his presence and declare his word, there will be a manifestation. Another thing about his presence, that his, his presence is a place of blessing. His presence is a place of blessing. God's presence is a place of blessing. In this a very familiar passage we read and we know quite well. Matthew 16, I'm sorry, Matthew 6, verse 33. Matthew 6, verse 33. Matthew 6, verse 3. I'm sorry. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Matthew 6, 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. Seek, but seek first the kingdom of God. In his presence, it's a place of blessing. When you're in his presence, he will bless you with material things. Besides spiritual blessing, God is interested in blessing you with material things. God is interested in blessing you. Besides spiritual blessing, God is interested in blessing you with material things. As long that you are not being controlled by material things. As long the material things don't take over you, take over your time. As long that material thing doesn't take you away from God. Whatever God has blessed you with, don't let you take it away from, don't let that material things take you away from God, from his presence. Say, but seek it first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And yesterday as I was preparing this message, I came to this passage, I've read it before again and again, but it just touched my heart. We are about to read. This is St. David. David loved God. You know, David was, that's why the Bible said, a man after our heart. Why? David knows how to seek his presence. David knew how to seek his presence. And that's why David wrote what he wrote in Psalm 16. That's why he wrote that. Because David had been tried and tested. And David knew that it was only the presence of God, the answer to every question in life will be found. Amen. You will show me the path of life. Psalm 16, verse 11. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. David knew. David knew. Let's see what David said in Psalm 34. Psalm 34, please, sometimes I will be fast. But just read out the scriptures and go over again and again and again. God bless you for your time. Thank you for this platform, Evangelist. Psalm 34, verse 4 to 10. Psalm 34, verse 4 to 10. This is what David said. I sought the Lord. Which means I went into his presence. I went into my closet. I went into his presence. I saw the Lord and he heard me. Remember that I said his presence, his presence is a place where prayers are heard. It's a place where prayers are heard. He said, I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. What are, what are you afraid of? In his presence, he will deliver you. Mm. Oh, I'm going to be late in this area. I'm going to be late in having baby. I'm going to be late in going to school. I'm going to be late in making money. I'm going to be late in starting ministry. I'm going to be late in starting family. I'm going to be late in travel. I'm going to be late in that. Whatever the fear is, when you're in his presence, they will say, he delivered me from all my fears. Oh, I'm not going to have money for insurance. I'm not going to have money if I do this. I'm not going to have money. 
he delivered me from all my fears. Listen to this. He said, they looked to him and were radiant. They went into his presence. The glory of God rests upon them. When you are in his presence, the glory of God will make you radiant, will make you shine. The reason why you are shining, the reason why you will shine is because of the you are you have gone into his presence and this glory of God is released upon you. Remember Moses, the Moses went into God's presence and the glory was so high that the people could not look at Moses. Mm. So when you are sharing, what's what's oh, my sister? Oh, I see you are sharing. What they are saying is the glory of God on your life. Hallelujah. It's not the makeup. It's not. It's not the. It's not the lotion you are rubbing. Mm-hmm. It's the glory of God. Mm-hmm. David said, "I went into His presence. He delivered me from all my trouble, and the glory rested upon me. And I, they, they looked out on Him, and they were radiant. There was a reflection of God. You should go to His presence." God's reflection will be upon your life. May God reflect on you this morning in Jesus' name. Mm. Whenever you are hearing this message, may the glory of God reflect on you. May the glory of God be seen in your life. Mm. He said, they looked to him and were radiant. He said, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Listen to this. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and deliver them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. Oh, fear the Lord, you the sanctified one. Oh, fear the Lord, you that have been redeemed. Oh, you fear the Lord, you that have been reconciled back to God. Oh, fear the Lord, all his saints. Say, there is no want to those who fear him. There is no want to those who fear him. He said, the young lions lack and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord, those who seek the Lord, those who go and seek God's presence, say, shall not lack any good thing. Mm. David said, if you seek his present, you will not lack good things. Amen. Good things will come to you. Let me tell you, good things will not come because you have money to buy it. Good things will come to you because you see God. Because God, possible, my God shall supply all your needs. Amen. According to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Hey, let me quickly read again. Psalm 34. Psalm 34. 4 to 10. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant. They glorified. They were glorified. They were shining. And their faces were not ashamed. You cannot serve God and have shame. And that shame is gone in Jesus' name. No shame will be attached to you because you sought his presence. So this woman cried out and the Lord heard him. And save him out of all his troubles. Hallelujah. The Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. See, blessed is the man who trusts in him, in God. Oh, fear the Lord. You are saints. Who are the saints? You are a saint. You don't have to die for you. I call it saint. Every believer, we are saint. It means we are sanctified. We are set apart for holy use. I was teaching this morning on my on my, my platform on money glory, talking about sanctification. It means you are by saint. You are sanctified. You are be set apart for what you are for what you do for the kingdom. Mm. Your assignment, your assignment from God. You are be sanctified for it. He said, "Oh, oh, fear the Lord, you His saints." There is no wine to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger. Mm. But those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Right. God, God say, I have prepared the good stuff for you. When you seek my face, the good stuff will come. It must come. It will surely come. God is not a man that he should lie, not the son of man to repent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. The advice I have got, so just, let's just continue. <laughs> uh? 
I said, you say I have all the time, so let me just continue. Carry on, carry on. I mean, guys, are you tired? Do you want him to go? <laughs> we still have, we still have two hours. Okay, hallelujah. Before this video will close. Yeah, in his present, there is comfort. In his present, there is comfort. We find comfort in his present. This is what the scripture says in Joshua 1 5. Joshua 1 5 says, No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will name, I will not leave you nor forsake you. I will read it again. I will expand on it. Let me read it and expand. It said, Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. Joshua chapter 1. Verse 5, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Amen. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. After the death of, of Moses, the mantle, the leadership fell on Joshua. And immediately after Moses was buried, everything was taken, has been done. Now, immediately, God spoke word of hope, comfort, and confidence in the heart of Joshua. He said, Joshua, no man will be able to stand before you. No man, any man born of a woman. Mm. <laughs> man. <laughs> No man. Mm. So, oh, the witches are troubling me. Wizards. No man. No demon. God said, I stand. God said, Joshua, I'm standing by you. I'm standing by you. No man shall be able to stand for you all the days. Not some few days. Not weeks. Not years. All the days of your life. As I said, as I was with Moses. As I was with Moses, Moses stood before Pharaoh. Let me tell you, Pharaoh bowed. <laughs> Pharaoh knew that Moses was not just ordinary man. That's so. all. You, you, you are not ordinary man, you are not ordinary woman. You are not just ordinary. You have been purchased with the blood of Jesus. You are the son and daughter of the Most High. Yes, I'm a daughter of the most You are designed for such a time and such a season and such a generation as this. You were made for this. You were made for this generation. God said to Joshua, no man. And I prophesied to you, no man, not even in their dream, can stand against you. No man. God will put those that clear the road. For your sake, God will do something for your sake that the enemies will shake. They will say, This is not another person. Yeah, you are mm -hmm. not. How can you be another person when the blood of Jesus is covering you? When you have been purchased with the blood of Jesus, you can't be an ordinary person. You are not. You are not just ordinary. You are special. You are chosen. Mm -hmm. like you are a priest. You are a king. You are special to God. He said, As I was with Moses, as I was with Moses. As I was with Moses, you know the life of Moses. God was with Moses. Mm. He said, as I was, so I will be with you. He said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Mm. And that's the promise of God. That's the promise of Jesus. He mm. said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So why are you, why are you shaking? Where, where, where is the fear? Where is the fear coming from? Where is the doubt coming from? Don't doubt the power of God. Don't doubt the favor of God. Don't doubt the grace of God upon your life. Don't doubt the mercy of God. You are special. You are designed. Whatever you are, whatever country you are in, it's okay. Your name is okay. You put everything. You have been designed, special, unique. Hmm. What you do and who you are. Hallelujah. God said no man shall be able. No villagers will be able. None of you. My time's my... Oh, oh. My transman, my transwoman, nobody will be able to stand against you. Amen. Because God is with you. Amen. In his presence, 
there is comfort. God comforted Joshua. Say, Joshua, relax. You are the next in line. Keep moving forward. You are any. You are going to end up in that promised land. You are going to end up with victory. You are going to end up where I want you to end up. No man can stop you along the way. No woman, nothing can stop you. Education cannot stop you. Finances, no visa, nothing can stop you along the way. You are getting to where you are going. You will get there. You will get success. You will get victory. You will get testimony. As long that you belong to Jesus, as long you are a child of God, nothing can stop you. You are unstoppable. I prophesy and declare and say to you, you are unstoppable. On this mission you are in, you are unstoppable. Nothing can stop you. You are unstoppable. Mm. You are unstoppable. In his presence, there is comfort. Let me also read again. Psalm 42, verse 5. He said, Why are you that cast, O oh my soul? Why are you worried? Why are you troubled? Why are you so fearful? Why are you afraid? What is that? that Psalm is so 42. Psalm 42, verse 5. 42, 5. Psalm 42, verse 5. Psalm 42, verse 5. Psalm 42, yes. 42, verse 5. Verse 5. Thank God I'm a daughter of God. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Why are you that cast, O my soul? David said, question David was asking himself. David. You are special, you are God designed, you are a child of God, you are a man that goes so hard, you fast, you pray, you seek his presence. Then why are you so down calm? What are you afraid about? What is the story? What is the question with you? David is speaking to himself. This was the prophet talking to David. David was speaking to himself, asking himself a question. My soul. You child of the Most High. Hmm. You child of the King. What is the issue you worry about? What is that that troubles you? And why are you so quieted within me? Hope in God. For I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. David said, build up your hope. Stand up and shake it off. My soul. Stand up and shake it off. Stand up. Shake it off. Move forward. Why are you downcast? Why are you troubled? Why are you troubled? Why are you troubled, my soul? What is the issue? Hmm. What is the issue? Yes, sir. What is the issue? For example, right now, the son or the daughters of the president, let's say of America, Donald Trump. Can the son or the daughter say that I'm so troubled? Why are you troubled? The best hospital in town is available. The best thing money can buy, they are available. If it comes to issue of money and fame, they are available. Connection, they are available. And you are more than the son of a president. You are the son of the living God. You are the daughter of the living God. What connection do you want? What help do you need? What solution you're looking for? Remember, David said, "In his present is the fullness of joy, and and and, and, and his right hand are pleasures forevermore." My soul, don't go down. Mm. Don't let something weigh you down. Okay. Don't let it weigh you down. Mm. Oh, how am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to pay my taxes? What what this? What of the embassy do this? What if, don't you are the son of the Most High? You must understand who you are in Christ. But the reason why, to the last, I want to close. The reason why it is fearful that people don't want to go into God's presence. The reason why few Christians dare to go into His presence. This is why most of you don't go into God's presence. I'll tell you one or two, two reasons. It's because of flesh and sin. Because anything you go to his presence, you'll be exposed. But it's good you go there to be exposed until that and get it right with God so you can move forward. In, in his presence, it can be a fle- fearful place. His presence can be a fearful place because the Bible says the Lord is a consuming fire. Because we don't want to be consumed. Mm. 
we don't want the flesh to be taken out of us because we have been so we so much love our flesh we don't want to the flesh to be consumed from us we feel comfortable in our sins we feel comfortable in our pleasures we feel comfortable in, 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 in not getting rebuke from the word of god we think that's okay and, and so because we know when we go into his presence with, with that kind of attitude we are going to be rebuked we're going to get correction we don't want to be correct corrected we don't want correction we want to just start moving in that direction that is why we don't want to go to his presence oh because when you go there god's gonna say forget forgive that brother forgive that sister oh you don't know what he did to me how can i forgive because you know when you go to his presence god's gonna speak to you that issue that issue that is in your heart that body that is in your heart that unforgiveness that's in your heart that greed that's in your heart go say i want you to share your bread ah no 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 i can't share that i want to keep it for myself and that's why we don't want to go into his presence because we go into his presence things will be exposed and we don't want to be exposed mm. and that's why a few dare to go into his presence because god doesn't play game he tells you as it is if I have a shoe in my heart and I go to this present and say, Victor, that bitterness, that unforgiveness, let it go. That greed, let it go. That extra coat you have, give it to somebody. Ah, God, I'm keeping for the rainy day. Don't worry about the rainy day. God takes care of the rain. Oh, but Lord, what if, what if, if, if? So let me keep it. And God said, give that extra coat you have to somebody mm. else. Because when we go into his presence, God will speak. Mm-hmm. And you know, when God speaks, he expects you to execute it. And because you know you don't want to do it, and you don't you are hiding your heart, so you don't want to go into his presence. And that's why we don't want, but we don't know that when we go there, we are getting freedom. Freedom come by being. In his presence. Mm-hmm. Let me read these two places, then we pray, then I, I can exit, be given the permission to exit. His presence can be a fearful place. Mm-hmm. In, in Genesis chapter 3, verse 8, listen to what happened. Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. It said, it said, and he heard the sound of of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Mm-hmm. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. You see him I thinking? They heard God coming. They went and hide themselves behind trees. Who made those trees? <laughs> Who made those trees in my head? I don't know. See, human thinking, carnality. Mm. Mm. We think we can cover, we can cover things from God. We can, you mm. cannot hide this from God. That mm. issue, just surrender to God and just move on. Get freedom, get free. The Bible said they heard him, the Savior. They ran from his presence. How can you run? Tell me, say, even if I make my bed in hell, you are there. You cannot run from God's presence. Just submit to his presence. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from who? From the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Yes, they sin. Yes, they did what was wrong. But God was approaching them. They were hiding. The Savior was approaching them, and they were hiding. Even in their hiding place, what happened? God still killed an animal and covered them up. From that day, man started moving in the flesh because they were covered with the skin of animal, symbolic of flesh. The blood was shed, symbolic of the blood of Jesus to come. Mm-hmm. It was not time. Because sin, sin demand for justice. Mm. Demand for justice. And so God cannot justify them. So what God did, God, because God cannot justify sin. 
before God did, He covered them with animal skin. Hmm. You don't want my glory, you don't want my presence, but you go in the flesh. But for humanity's sake, down the road, the blood of my son will be shared so that man no cannot walk in the flesh but in the spirit. But right now, you are in the, in the flesh. But a day is coming that I will bring revolution to humanity. I will kill my son on the cross that the blood would cover them. No longer will I cover them with flesh. I will cover them with the blood. They will now walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. Hmm. Hmm. They were running from God's presence. Hmm. And help was coming to them. They were running from the help. But thank God, God helped them and covered them, covered their nakedness with flesh. Hmm. Because it was not time for Christ to come. You couldn't have killed that animal because animal cannot solve the problem. It was going to be the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. So for temporal solution, it was the flesh. But the spirit man was coming. The spirit Jesus was coming. The spirit church was coming. The church was defied. Adam was the first church defied it, but the spirit church was coming. Nothing can stop us these days because we have the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We didn't just have the blood of animal, we have the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. So don't run from presence. Man, woman, you have been saved, born against spirit field, don't run from his present. Mm. Surrender. Because you are not covered with the flesh, you are covered with the blood. Hallelujah. And you are covered with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't run from his present because the trees cannot hide you. Mm. Material things cannot hide you. Hide yourself under the blood. He said, when I say the blood, I will pass over you. Amen. The last place I want to read is Isaiah Chapter 6, verse 5. So I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For every eye I have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Let me tell you, God cannot behold sin. That's why we have the blood of Jesus. Repent, go back, stay in His presence, abide in His presence, because in His presence, there is life. Outside his presence, there is no life. Let me quickly just pray before I ask for my exit. Okay. I only have prayer. I want us to pray. But we're going to pray in like five different ways or five different times, five different ways. One prayer is Holy Ghost, take me into the presence of God daily. Amen. Drag me, pull me. Holy Ghost, remind me. Show me to be in his prayer. Father, let us pray. Take me, Holy Ghost. Take me into the presence of God daily. Lord, in your presence daily, I want to dwell. Lord, Holy Spirit of God, take me into God's presence daily. I don't want to dwell outside your presence. Lord, I want to tabernacle, I want to build my house, my residence. In your presence. Holy Spirit, take me daily into his presence. Take me daily into God's presence. Lord, I don't want to hide myself with material things. I don't want to hide myself behind the trees. I don't want to hide myself from your presence. Holy Spirit, take me into God's presence daily. Every one of us on this platform, my prayer for you and I is that the Holy Spirit will take us into God's presence daily. Lord, take us, Holy Spirit, take us into God's presence daily. In Jesus' name. Number two, we're going to pray. Holy Ghost, tie me down in God's presence daily. Holy Ghost, tie me down. See, because one thing about sacrifice, you see, if you take a living sacrifice to the altar, he will crawl out from that fire because he doesn't like fire. But if the sacrifice, if the animal is tied down and killed, he can't run away from the altar. That's why the Bible says we should crucify ourselves daily. We should kill our flesh daily so we can stay at the altar. The reason why we don't stay at the altar in his presence is because we are still in the flesh. We want to crawl, we want to run. Let's run to the supermarket. 
Let's go and shop. Let's go and buy food. Let's go and buy this. We want to run and hide with different things. The reason why we're, we're, we're actually running from God's presence, we want to go and spend time outside His presence. And so we're going to ask the Holy Ghost to tie us down. Tie me down, Holy Ghost. In God's presence daily, tie me down. Until God has downloaded into my spirit. Father, tie me down. Holy Ghost, tie me down daily in God's presence. I want to dwell daily in His presence. Therefore, Lord, I ask Holy Spirit, empower me and tie me down in God's presence. Tie me down. I submit my will. I submit to you my will, my plan, my purpose. Let it be done at His presence. My dreams, my vision, let it be done. Let it be both at His presence. Oh God, tie me down until I give birth. Time me down until I'm pregnant and I give birth. Time me down until I hear from God daily before I take any step, before I go out of my house. Lord, let me hear from Him before I do anything. Holy Spirit, tie me down. Tie me down, Holy Spirit. Before I do anything in the day, let me hear from God. Let me get clear direction from God. Holy Spirit, tie me down until the voice of God is clear and sound into my spirit. In Jesus, we are going to pray. Holy Ghost, keep reminding me to stay in God's presence daily. Holy Spirit, keep reminding me, keep nudging me, keep nudging me, keep speaking to me in my spirit. Let it be loud. Keep reminding me to spend time in God's presence. Help me, O oh God. Speak to me, O God. Remind me, Holy Spirit, that I need to spend time in His presence daily. Let flesh not take over me. Let my flesh not overrule my spirit. Let my desire not overrule God's desire for my life. Let my strength and vision not override God's strength and vision for my life. Remind me to stay daily. Constant reminder, constant reminder, Holy Spirit, constant reminder, constantly remind me, constantly remind me every day I need to die daily, I need to stay at the altar daily, I need to be in his presence daily. <coughs> Lord, I thank you. You are awesome. You are wonderful in Jesus' name. Pray for, the back. Pray for everyone on this platform. For divine health. Pray for divine health for everyone on this platform. Release, ask God to release His mercy and grace of divine health to everyone on this platform. That this coronavirus will not be will not come to you nor to your dwelling place. Pray for divine health, divine protection. Father, I declare your mercy and grace, oh God, over everyone on this platform, over the evangelist, over her family, over the followers over everyone on this platform, but I decree and I declare divine health, divine protection over coronavirus. None of anyone that hears her on this platform will be afflicted with coronavirus. We decree and declare. The Bible said, if two of us shall agree, my faith and her faith, we agree, we come together in faith and I agree and make declaration. None of our followers, none of our listeners, we contact coronavirus by the authority in the name of Jesus. We play the blood of Jesus over everyone on her platform in the name of Jesus. We decree miracles. We decree salvation. We decree healing. We decree divine head over you in the name of Jesus. May the name of the Lord be praised and be glorified in Jesus' name. We are going to pray that the reign of healing to those who have been affected already, <clears throat> that God will release the rain of healing mm. over those that have been affected by coronavirus, whether they are Christian or non Christian, we don't care. We want the healing virtue of God to flow all over our hospitals, our homes, to everyone that have been touched, afflicted, or some carries not even know yet. But the power of God will send down rain upon everyone that has been touched by the coronavirus. Let us pray. Let Father, send that rain of healing oh God. to everyone Amen. that has been affected and touched by this coronavirus. 
we declare and declare healings and miracles, supernatural healing, supernatural miracles across the four corners of the world. We pray over for New York, for Spain, for Italy, for Germany, for Britain, all over Africa, all over Europe, all over Asia. We pray and declare for the power of God to move and stop coronavirus. And those who have been touched and affected, over, we command them to be healed in the name of Jesus. We send all your healing virtue over this challenge, over this program, to everyone that have been taught, to those who have been afflicted that are in the hospital right now, those at home right now, but coronavirus has marked them. They will not die through coronavirus. We command them to live and not die in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate Thank we you, give you glory and praise for your wonders. Hallelujah. Thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for everyone. I stretch up my hand and I release healings over each and every one that is here, that is seeing this program right now or after in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, you are God of mercy and God of all grace. Lord, release your virtue. Release healing virtue. Let the rain of healing begin to fall. Let everyone be to feel the impact of this healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for the medication. Just even if even they just drink water, let that will become medication and healing for their body in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Those who have access to the medication, those who have no access to medication, equally touch and heal everyone by your power and by your grace. We ask for miracles. Yes, we ask yes. for testimony, for your glory and for your praise, we pray mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen and amen. amen. Jesus, God bless amen. you all. I love you all and I thank you, my evangelist, for bringing me this morning. Thank God bless you. Bless you, sir. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation. God bless you. We man. appreciate your presence. It is well. It's thank you, well. sir. Regards to everybody there. Bye bye, sir. God bless you. Regards to your family. Amen. Bye bye, family. Yeah. Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of us are blessed? Did you hear the scriptures? The same scripture we used this morning. Or the most of the scriptures, the same thing God is repeating in another way. You see, eh, the word of God is new every day. How many of us are blessed? The same thing. The presence of God. I told you. The presence of God is right there inside of you already. I told you we didn't finish that mass message. We've, I think we're going to finish it tomorrow morning. Are you activating it? The power of the Holy Ghost is there. The Holy Ghost is there. They are inside of you. But are you allowing it to be dormant? Or are you activating it by the Holy Ghost? By remaining in His presence every day. By living in obedience to his word, by spending time with him, we're gonna go, we're gonna go further, we're gonna dig deeper when we come back again because I didn't finish that message. I told you guys I didn't finish it. And we had to go because of time. But God is still saying the same thing again to us, again and again, which means that's how important it is for God. For we to have a fellowship, a good fellowship with him. But many of us are so I say many of us. Our hearts are so busy, including me. Sometimes you are thinking of this, you are thinking of that, you are thinking of that, and the thing wears you are the pastor says, even maybe you may be on your knees and you are praying, but your heart is so far. Then you haven't prayed anything at all. Your heart is far. You are kneeling down. You are supposed to be praying, but you are thinking about what you want to do. You are thinking about this. Before you realize one hour is gone, you are just there thinking. We need to learn to control our minds in his presence. We need to learn to control our minds, our thoughts in his presence. And I pray that God will give us grace. We're going to go rest now. Listen, this is our third broadcast for since 12 midnight. One was on for 12 midnight. One, we came online for 9 a.m. Now we come online again 4 p.m. I'll be five minutes past for around 4 p.m. again. This is the third broadcast in 20, in in. It's never up to 24 hours now. The reason we are taking time to come is that in this time you are fasting, don't stay idle. Occupy yourself with the word. 
Many of you, you are on lockdown now. You are not going anywhere. You are in your houses. At least before, it is work that is not making you spend time with God. Now that you are inside your house, is it not surprising that now that people are inside their house, they are not interested in the gospel? Have you not noticed? They are not interested. I'm looking at all the platforms. Platforms that I used to see before, they have 100 uh, viewers. They have uh, 80 viewers, 70 viewers. You go now, it's 30 viewers. Where did the people go to? So the devil is also fighting. Listen to me. People are busy reading coronavirus uh, uh, release. People are busy now looking for COVID. They are just looking for information. Distraction in the body of Christ. People that used to have followers, plenty followers. Now, when I maybe the video flows on my timeline, like when you guys share or they share, I'm like, this person used to have like 100 followers. Where did everybody go? They are, they are still online, oh, but the devil is using this season to distract them. Don't be distracted. On your timeline, on your, on your Facebook timeline, things are floating. People are loading things. Things are floating. And people are more interested in reading about coronavirus because of fear. People are most interested in how many people have caught it in Italy. They want to see the statistics of people that have died from it. That is not our portion. It is also a weapon from the pit of hell to distract people from hearing the word of God, even online. There are so many news of this, news of that, many news, various kinds of news. Then there are individuals who just me, I can just go and I'll go begin to write my own theory about what I think is happening. And I will post it. People will leave, uh, they will come out of uh, a, a, a service like this. They will go and be reading news of coronavirus, who is dying and who is not dying, who is surviving, who is not surviving. And before you know it, three hours is gone. Them just reading and soaking in rubbish. There are some news, I just click on it, I take it off. I don't even listen to it. I'm not even, I don't want to hear anymore about coronavirus. I don't want to read about it anymore. To some extent, maybe you just want to get the, some, a, here, a, here and there information, but not like giving it your whole, your whole day. Some people are all through this day, 24 hours, they're on Facebook reading about coronavirus, following the trend, following what the word is saying, following what uh, uh, Trump is saying. Follow what Italy is saying. Follow what Nigeria is saying. Then the short, short dramas coming up. So much dramas and dramatic things going on about this season. We understand that the season we are in is evil. But don't let it carry you away with the tide. It has carried a lot of people now. They are not even interested in, in the word of God now. They are not interested in prayer. They are not interested in the gospel. They are more interested in reading news. They are still online. But if you go now, majority of them are reading news about what is going on in the world. They want to hear what is going on. It is a distraction from the pit of hell. Choose not to be, be amongst them. Choose life. Choose to come hear the word of God that will strengthen you and help you through the season. Rather than to be reading evil reports, bad reports, negative reports that will begin to poison your spirit and poison your mind and bring you fear. Say, I choose to hear God over coronavirus. I choose to hear God over 5G. I choose to hear God over, what again, the vaccine. I choose, people are just, that is it. Go on YouTube, you are listening to this one. That one is saying this one. This one is teaching that one. BBC News, CNN News, every news. They are just going from, that is what, they, that is what people are interested in now. But you, let the word of God be your focus. Maintain his presence. His presence. Let his presence be everything to you in this season. His presence, let it be your heaven. Dwell in there. Stay put in there. Don't be distracted. Stay focused. I choose to hear the I choose to hear God. Not all the it doesn't matter what they are saying. It doesn't matter the statistics of people that are dying. It doesn't matter what people are loading or uploading but we choose life because we are also the carrier of life we don't want to hear those don't stop feeding your spirit with all those negative news leave them people that are not interested in the word of god mm -mm. they are not excited about god now they are more excited about koro a vaccine and all these things and everything people is saying this one said that one that one said that
It's good to update yourself so you know what is going on. But don't focus. Like, don't just spend five hours reading about coronavirus. What a waste of time. You can just go there 10 minutes, 20 minutes. That's what I do. I just go, I pick. I just pick to know what's going there. Pick to know what's going there. Pick. In fact, sometimes something, somebody was telling me, ah, they have arrested, um, is it uh, one person like that? I'm like, huh, who? I said, ah, it's all over the internet. I said, me, I don't search internet for all those news, oh. I don't have time to be looking for internet news to read. Have I finished reading my Bible? Many a time, self, things are happening around the world. Me, I don't know. When they will say before, I say, eh, when, how? Because I really don't know. I am not focused on searching for all those negative, useless, use, it is, they are not useful to you now. Okay, you heard now that uh, another 500 people died, for example, from coronavirus. How is that news useful to you? No, it's not useful because it will bring fear to you. Oh, it's going rampant in the USA. Is that a good news? You only get the information. Oh, is that, well, I'm not among it. To God be the glory. Pam, you're on your way. Hey, and then you begin to allow, it begins to bring fear, fear into you. Huh? No. There are some. When I sit down and say, oh, a child, it was, it was interesting. I decided to watch it again because a child was involved. And I started praying for that little boy. There are some that God will lead you specifics. Just stay with the specifics and do away with it. I don't care now. When I see some, I just, I sweep, I don't even open it. A corona, I just sweep past it. I'm tired of hearing those news. The news I want to hear, I want to hear is the good news of Jesus. We, we will hear all these things. It will not come near. Tell yourself, I choose to hear good news. I choose to hear positive news. I choose to hear life-changing news. It's still the same thing they are repeating over and over and over again. So we now blow it out of proportion. So we modernize it. So we now say, give their own new theory. Whether you give theory, you not give theory. Understand that the fact remains that coronavirus is out there. And the fact remains that we, the children of God, we are standing in the gap and sending it to hell. The fact remains that the dress that we are trying to install 5G. And the fact remains that we are standing against it. The fact remains that they are talking about use, that useless vaccine that will not see the, uh, uh, the, the light of day. And the fact also remains that we, the children of God, we are standing against it. The Bible has already said that we should decree it and it shall be established. So I choose to hear good news. Oh, they say Jesus Christ. One was saying that uh, one pastor prophesied that on the 12th. Abel, what is today's date? What is today's date, people? The pastor prophesied that uh, the world is going to end on the 12th of uh, April. So me, I'm waiting. I tell them, I say fake news. Uh, the man is afraid now. He's counting. Three days to go. Five days to go. I say, look at your life. That one self is a distraction. You are supposed to be here listening to the word of God. You are busy counting days that the world want to end. Today is the seventh. Uh -huh. So we have five more days according to the prophecy of that man. Fake news. Even Jesus, I told him, I said, I told him, I said, even Jesus said he doesn't know what time he is coming. It is only his father God that knows. When the time comes, he will not say, my son, it is time for you to go. He himself, Jesus that died for us, he doesn't know. Angels don't know. So which one pastor want to know when the world is coming to an end? They never born that pastor. Lies from the pit of hell. Lies. And the thing is making you fear. You don't even know the word of God. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. There are so many lies flying here. Even the devil now is releasing lies. Using pastors, bishop, whatever title they carry to release lies. lies. I saw one. Oh. I saw, in fact, you guys need to watch this one. Let me let me look for it. I think somebody sent it on on. Oh, where did I see it? Oh, I just saw it and it was very interesting. Oh. Uh, nobody knows, and that guy is already counting down. He's counting down how many days to go. The pastor said on the twelfth, the word will end. <laughs> ah, my God. Me, I was quick to write a reply. Yo. I said, lies. Which word want to end? Look at this one now. I bet you should help me see this one. People should see somebody. Look at this one. 
Look at this one now. See. People should look oh. Look oh. I should see somebody. At this point, this is a very serious moment for me. Absolutely a serious moment because something is about to happen in African continent. And I want to ensure that all Nigerians are sensitized about what is about to happen about the 5G technology. The 5G technology is a technology that emits a lot of radiation into the atmosphere and by that causes a lot of illness to the body, a lot of illness in the atmosphere and in... Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? And people are watching this guy. They say it's Archbishop. This guy now is his name is he says Archbishop something whatever whatever is his name. Yeah. He wore all this gadget. We are long so long ago that maybe use 15 years of clothes that will serve some orphans. Eh, to so better good Christmas clothes. To so long uh, gown. Long gown. We are long cap. Carry one mantle like Moses. He come now, he's archbishop on the street. They have to be carrying like he's going to a wedding tray, like the train, wedding train, you know, like all those wedding people with long tray going with them on the street of Lagos. What is he saying? Repetition, everything. There is nothing new in the news. And this person now is praying for people and they are saying amen. You don't even know the spirit that is in him. You don't know the demon he's using. You don't know the... Look. Look, the people that are bringing in the 5G technology, that is the reason why I am asking everyone who is a Nigerian to listen very properly and go to Pastor Chris or Yal Kilome. So be careful. You see, this one now, he's praying for them on the streets. Who knows now, he may be there even collecting some people's destiny with their amen. <laughs> We are in a generation now, in a season where people are so afraid they will hang on to anything. They will believe anything. If the devil himself comes out and wears suit now and tell them it's the devil, they will still believe as long as he will pray and the solution will go. Guys, be careful what you watch. Be careful what you listen to in this time. Many agents of darkness are equally out there. Commit yourself. To staying in the presence of God. Commit. You are a carrier of God's presence, but you need to activate it every day. That is where coming into his presence, it comes about. Spending quality time. Reading your Bible. The time you will use in listening to all these fake news. Or repetition of news. Every new, There is nothing new. Check it now. All the news now flying is what we have already known. There is nothing new again. So why don't you focus more on the life that on the life that Christ has given you and delete all these fears? The word is going to end. Some of you are even afraid, afraid that the word Jesus is coming, the word is coming to an end. Who told you? God says we will hear all these things, yet Jesus is still yet not ready to come. Read your Bible well, oh. Read your Bible well. This is not the time for you to be panicking, running helter skater, and just no. Follow protocols. Wash your hands always. Always make sure your children are washing their hands. Always make sure you are you when you go out, you are wearing your gloves. Make sure you stay away from people. Follow all these guidelines. Not in fear, just in compliance. Because Christianity is still not stupidity. Faith is not foolishness. And then soak in the word of God. Soak in the presence of God that you carry. Many people, many people are carriers of God's presence. But God's presence has become dormant. It has become dormant. 
There is no fire in that presence. There is no glory in that presence. Because the presence of God is dormant. Dormant. You need to activate it. The fact that you are a carrier doesn't mean that you shouldn't activate it. You still need to activate the presence of God. I will, we, will, we will go deeper. We'll go deeper. We'll go deeper when we come back um, in the morning. But we are coming back 12 midnight. How many of you are ready to pray for your nations? I told you guys that we are going to pray yesterday, to yeah, last night, this night, and tomorrow night for our nations. We are coming online tonight, 12 o'clock, just to stand in the gap for all the nations of the world. Everywhere. We are coming here for intercessory prayer. 12 midnight. 12 midnight will come for intercessory prayers. So all of you get ready to come. Everybody get ready to come. 12 midnight. We are coming to stand in the gap. Come ready to pray. That's all we can do. Pray. As they are planning, we are canceling it. As they are planning, we are canceling it. We, are, we have power over them. We have authority over them. We are the children of light. Churches are praying. Do you even see the good side of it? People are now praying on the street, what they have never done before. They maintain social distance. They are kneeling down on some countries. They are kneeling down. Better sleep now. We are going to close now so that you can go and sleep. Tell that your energy to come. <laughs> Tell your energy to return wherever it's coming from. Me too. I'm going to try to sleep later, but not now. I still have to do a few things. And somebody just leaving a message. Woman of God, I'm going to call you after the video. So somebody is waiting now to call me. And somebody is waiting for me to interpret dream. And she knows herself. I have not answered that. She has dreamt and dreamt. Left me long message about the dream. I have read it. I laughed after reading it, but I didn't reply. <laughs> so she's waiting. She's like, hey, mama, mommy, you didn't answer my, you didn't answer my question. You didn't interpret <laughs> I'm laughing. I said, like, are you afraid? Uh, because I was really busy. It's not easy. <laughs> the Lord is our strength. But on a more serious note, understand that the presence of God drives everything we talked about. He talked about comfort. Pastor Victor, uh, Dr. Victor talked about many things that we already talked about in the morning. He re-emphasizes it and give it more explanations. Because God wants you to hear him. Hear him. Hear him very well. Don't be moved by all these things. Be moved by the word of God. Be moved by the word of God. Not by situations around you. Be moved by the word of God. Okay? His presence drives away fear. His presence kills depression. His, his presence gives us hope. His presence... Uh -uh. Burdens are lifted. I heard that one. The Holy Ghost said it. I just said burdens are lifted. I just said, what, what is it? They say, burdens are lifted. Burdens are lifted in his presence. So cultivate the habit of spending time in his presence. Avoid distractions. Because the devil is using the, the demon of distractions in this end time. He's even distracting the, the very elect Christians themselves. With all this madness. He's distracting children of God. I mean, I'm not thinking about Koro. Corona knows I'm not even thinking about it. I'm at work as I was singing, I was rejoicing. I say, oh, you seem happy. When people are just like, me, I'm like, hi, hello. How are you coping with this? How are you coping with this virus? I say, very, very well, because it's not coming near my dwelling place. I am saying it openly to them to hear, for them to hear. I say, because I am a daughter of God. No, I don't say I'm a daughter of God. I say, I say, oh, very, very well. I am very much at peace. I say, what do you do? I say, I have prayed. And then you start to preach, you know. You know, you can't preach in your place of work like that. I say, once you pray, you trust God, you believe, nothing will happen to you. And I say that to them. I say, I have prayed. I believe. Nothing. And I'm not beginning to encourage. I say, this season will be over now. Very soon, it will be forgotten. We will forget that something like Oro happened. I will be saying it to them. Why? Because I know. It is true. And I'm helping them relax because I am relaxed. I am relaxed. I'm helping them relax. There's, there's no need for all this panic. Somebody say, oh, the situation has made my panic situation. I am even more panicked. And I say, what for? Why are you panic? Panic, oh, you don't panic, oh. He's not changing nothing. The only thing that changes thing is prayer and his presence. 
So cultivate that habit. Live in obedience to the word of God. Know that you carry his presence, so activate it. His presence is everywhere with you. You and your car activate his presence. In your rooms, activate his presence. In your place of work, activate it. Through worship, prayers. Now we are fasting. This is one way to activate the presence of God. Even since we started this fast, now many of you have peace. You are seriously, and somebody said, I am so encouraged. You are encouraged now because maybe you are beginning to worry, you are beginning to fear, but now you are encouraged to know that God is in control. That is what we are talking about. That is why God is leading us to come here. It's not that I don't have anything to do. I have plenty of my videos to upload because I'm the one uploading it by myself. Nobody is helping me. I have them. I have not finished uploading to YouTube. I still need to upload, download. I am downloading and uploading. And I have other things. See my bag of clothes here is dirty. Hand wash. I don't want to use machine to wash some of the clothes we took on mission trip. I wash them with hands because they are delicate. I don't like using wash machine, washing machine for them. I have not even had time. It's in a bag right in front of me. So if we are not fasting, I could just go and just go and do my washing. Je, je, je. I have not even had time. And you see what the man of God said? That if you, you need to give God your time. In fact, it was just like repeating everything we have already said in the morning. Time. You need to give God your time. He knows how to give you his time. Is, did I not say something about that in the morning? God is, is re-echoing re it again so you will hear and, and begin to obey. Listen, guys, don't be afraid. Aha, thank you for reminding me. The afternoon prayer testimony. How many of you? Yes, testimony. Begin to share your testimony. We ask for his presence. Your testimony will determine if I will be moved to do it again. Now, let me see. How many of you felt his presence? It's about his presence. And we prayed and I released the presence of God upon you. So now testify. Thank you for reminding me, darling. Hey, I got plenty of secretaries. Oh. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, yeah, afternoon time. How many, of, how many of you entered his presence? How many of you felt his presence? Now testify. What happened to you in the first video? <laughs> how many of you? How many of you? How many of you? I pray before the video ended, the previous video before this one, I released the presence of God and I prayed for you and then the video died. So how many of you felt his presence? Even before when we started, I could feel, my God, it was just that I needed to bring the man of God there. I was already going. I was already going, oh. I was already going, eh? I'm waiting for your testimonies now. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, eh? How many of you felt his presence? In that previous video, when I prayed, how many of you were crying? How many of you stood up and I told you to lift up your hands and all of that? So how many of you? How many of you did that and what happened to you? How many of you had an encounter? Your experience is present. <laughs> he said she fell down. Oh. <laughs> she fell down and began to smoke in tongues. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ha. Powerful. Oh yeah, who knows? Who knows? How many of you how many of you felt the touch of God? What happened to you? Said I fell down. Oh, I spoke in tongues. Ha. Ah, praise God. The touch of God. Glory, glory. Who has who has had an experience or an encounter with the Holy Ghost? If you did now, who wants another dose of his presence? We can release it now. We have more time. So we can do that for another 20 minutes before we go. It's all about his presence. She said, I fall down. Oh, nobody touched her. She's in her house. Just obedient. She fell down, began to speak in tongues. How many of us? Who again? Huh. Say, my hands always feels like electricity going through it for some reasons. Okay. The presence of God. Hallelujah. Who else? Who else? Who else? How many of you had the encounters in that previous videos? You know the video cut off, so we didn't we didn't have the time. We didn't have the time to, to testify. Now is the time to testify. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What a faithful father you are. What an awesome God you are. That I felt cold all over my body. Mm -hmm. 
power of the Holy Ghost. I'm waiting for all your testimonies. And tell me who who wants to do it again? Who wants to who wants to have another encounter with the Holy Ghost? We don't fake the presence of God. We don't fake it. It's not something you fake. You cannot fake God's presence. You can't fake it. It is something real. It is so real. For those to those that believe. I can release it back again. If you are doubting, don't go. Just wait. When we pray it again, key yourself into it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's begin to celebrate him. Just begin to thank him. Thank him for today. And please, I said, go, this time that we have is to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have five hours. Oh, she said, I was crying, yawning, and bopping at the same time. Ah, are you seeing? I was crying, yawning, and bopping at the same time. Praise Jesus. <laughs> the presence of God is real. Hey, that is what God can do in his presence. So we go back and watch all those videos from 12 midnight, the 9 a.m. and this one again now. So always keep yourself busy. One way to, to maintain the presence of God is constantly being in his presence every time, any day. You are walking on the street, you are speaking in tongues. You are in your place of work, you are worshiping. Constantly have activate always activate his presence because he said my presence will go with you so you have it there just activate it don't leave it dormant don't leave it cold don't leave it powerless it is too powerful to be powerless you are the one that will activate it by yourself through worship speaking in tongues Listening to the word of God. So all these materials that we have we are we, is available there on Facebook here. So instead of it to be listening to news, useless news about coronavirus that has nothing, no meaning in your life, it will not add anything to you. Go and begin to listen to the word of God and then cut and then hide yourself in it. In that presence, nothing will happen to you. Instead of allowing fear, reading news that will bring fear to you. Uh uh, go and read the word of God that guarantees your safety. That guarantees you, no matter what, let coronavirus be on your street, it will not come near your doorpost. According to the word of God now, you need to live to believe in the word of God. Be controlled by the word. Be, ah, my calabo, I heard this one from the Holy Ghost. He said, be controlled by the word, as in the word of God, and not the world. Hey, somebody needs to type this one. Be controlled by the word, not the world. Oh, I just, that just came now. I just heard it loud and clear. Be controlled. Be controlled by the word, which is Jesus. Somebody type it. That is it. The Holy Ghost said it and I just heard it. This is a message for you. I ju it just came. It just popped up. Now, now. Be controlled by the, by the word. The word. John. The word. The word. And not the world. That's a message for you. That's a message for somebody. Now, look at John 10.10. 10. I mean, not John 10.10. 10, John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning, before, the, before all time, was the Word. That Word is Christ. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Do you understand that message? 
be controlled by Jesus, be controlled by his word. He is the word and not world. The devil is the one in the world. The devil is the one ruling the affairs of the world. But Jesus is also involved. Don't be controlled by all these things going on right now in the world. Which is exactly what the devil wants. Be controlled by the word. Word, word, in any dimension. The word of God or by Jesus himself that is the word. And not the world. It is a choice you have to make. You are the one that will make that choice. You are the one that will make that choice. Be controlled by the word and not by the world. That's right. Take that with you. Get yourself rooted in that word, in his presence. Look at the message that God just gave you. Go back and watch our videos. This is the third one since 12 midnight. Go and listen again and again and again. Obey. Soak it in. Let the word of God control you. Don't let the things going on in the world control you. That is where fear comes. That is where depression comes. That is where anxiety comes. Be controlled by the word not the word. Let your heart, your mind be still before his presence and be controlled by the word and not the word. A lot is happening in the world, but it's a distraction from the pit of hell. Refuse to be controlled by it. Give yourself to the reading of the board. Keep, give yourself to activating his presence. Now we are having a three days dry fast. If you know you cannot, your throat is dry like me, I may be sipping water. You can take a sip of water. Not, I didn't say you should drink one liter of water or 500 ml of water, a sip, because we are doing a dry fast. If your throat, except if you have a medical condition or the reason why. We can do it. We've been doing it now. Also, get your communion ready for Thursday when we are breaking. Get your anointing oil for your family. Get your water for yourself and family. We'll be blessing them on the last day. Praise the Lord. Remember that God is the one in control, not the devil. Our life don't belong to him. Mm -mm. Speak positive. Maintain his presence. Live in his presence. Every other thing will follow place. Now just thank him. Just begin to 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 appreciate him. Say, Father, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you. Yahweh, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Just begin to appreciate him. Just begin to exalt his name. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him for how far he has led us today already. Begin to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Lord, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Yahweh, we thank you. You are worthy. You are faithful. You are awesome. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Rabagados, ye debosia. La prakata ta 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 ta. Ekete rabagados, kendele leboshia, la baba baba. Ekete ribakatolia, la baba baba. Ekete te 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 te. Abakata la basike te te te. Abakata la basike te te te. Maske te 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 te. Ikata rabasike te te te. Ekarakata ta 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 ta. Osoko to 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 to. Ekerekete rigalagadabasia ta 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 ta. Ebragada da 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 da, ibagada ba la bagadosi kete ribagadosia, rapaka ta 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 ta, leke te 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 te, yema santa la ba 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 ba, egara gara gara gaba, rabragados kendelelele bosi ala la la ba 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 ba, ikata rabasi kete te te, masonto le bos. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, begin to say, Father, thank you, thank you. We are not moved by what we see. We are not moved by what we hear. We are moved by your 
world. Father, we say thank you, oh God. We appreciate you, oh God. We exalt you, oh God. We adore you, oh God. Masente rabakata la bakoto rika laka tesente. Neteri bakatoli adaba. Eketeri katosinte. Rabragada da 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 da. Yikete rabakata la ba. Imason torobos kentelebos. Yika da 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 da. Rekete la bakata li bokoto ribada. Mas kontoro boku te 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 te. Repa pa 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 si ke te 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 te. Eya da 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 da. Eya da 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 da. Eya da 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 da. Koreke te ta 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 ta. E reboso toro bo si te ria raba. La baga da 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 da. La baga da 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 da. Eke te neke te neke te neke te raka te te te. E mason to 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 to. Ika ta 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 ta. Lord we thank you. Lord we thank you. Lord we thank you. Lord we thank you. Eka ta 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 ta. Oh take te 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 te. La ka la ka ba 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 ba. Eke reke te 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 raka pa si ke te 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 e ke te 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 la ka ta 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 e ko to 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 ke te 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 a pa ka ta 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 o ro ko to ro ko to ko to 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 e ke te 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 ma se te 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 e ka ta 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 o ko ro ko to 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 la ga la ga la ga ba 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 o o o o si ka ta la ba ku te de ke te 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 e ka ra ka ta la ba si de 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 bos ra bra ga do si te 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 la bra ga da da si te 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 ra ga da 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 si te 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 yi ka ta 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 ba ga do ba ga do la ba ga da ba ba ga do 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 ra pa ka ta li bo ko to si te re bo si te re da ba 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 father we thank you 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 Jesus we thank you Lord eh ma Santa la ba ken te re da ba father thank you for life thank you for life thank you for safety thank you for security Lord we thank you for your presence that is our security we thank you for your presence that is our everything father we hide ourselves in your presence we hide our families in your presence we have hide our loved ones in your presence lord have your way have your way in also god have your way jehovah have your way my yente lord we give you praise oh god oh ragalagabas kantalabas yibagados teriarabash oh father we thank you we bless you, Lord. We worship your name. We exalt you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We say, blessed be unto thee. Glory, honor, and adoration be unto your name in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your presence that is heaven to us. Thank you, Father, for your presence that is our, our security. Thank you for your presence that can heal. Thank you for your presence, O oh God, that is going with us every day, every hour, every minute, every second in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for our lives, our families. Thank you for our loved ones. Father, we thank you because we are all secured in your presence. May your name be praised forever. May your name be glorified forever. May your name be exalted forever in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, Lord. Take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Don't forget we are fasting for three days. No food. It will end on Thursday. This is just the first day. Praise the Lord. I will be back here to pray 12 midnight. So go and read. Get yourself in his presence and read, which is like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Five hours from now, we'll be back. Also, please, I have posted um, what we need for our community in Benin City. Bags of rice, bags of beans, uh, bag of gari. Bags, not one. Bags, because we are going to be sharing the bags among some, some of them. Depending on how many bags we get, we determine how many we are going to how we are going to share it amongst them. So we need bags of rice. We need bags of beans, and the prices for a bag of rice is there. The prices for a bag of beans is there. You can donate one bag. You can donate two bags. You can give us the financial, the monetary equivalent, or you can drop it off in our locations in Benin City. If you want to send your family member to bring it to us, let us know, and we will give you. And I will give you um, the address, our location, or phone number where to drop it off. We need yams. We need plantains. We need uh, tomatoes, onions, salt. We need, um, what else is there? Anyway, the list is there on our page. So please, this is the heartbeat of God that you should help those in need. There are families, it is not for those ones that have. It is for those families that are struggling, that are not able to eat. The widows, no husband, no job. And then the widows we have is not up to 
the amount we want so we are going to pick and pick some poor people as well and then if we have enough we want to go to the streets some streets in some like a local area and some poor houses you can tell by the look of some houses that the people living in that house are are poor so we will locate not those fine good beautiful house that has jeep in front of it no we look for those passage house houses and we just give them one one bags but it depends on what we have because we are inviting hundred uh, people to the church i am using one church location for them but they are not all members of that church they are handpicked from across but we don't you know because of what is going on now we have to be careful so i'm going to be because that church is the big is big so some are coming from different places they are not few of them are from the church but may, some of them are from outside so we are handpicking people that we come there that really need this food stuff so they will come to the place and if there is any leftover we want to go into the streets, like go to like some of these poor houses. We just say, uh, just we don't want to. Uh, we just drive. They will just drive it in front of their compound, and we just give to. If they have like four houses, then we give them four bags. We drop four bags for them. So this is the plan, and God will bless you. So if you want to donate a bag of rice, a bag of beans, a bag of gari, the prices are there, or you can even donate two bags, three bags, five bags, even donate all the bags. You can send it by physically buying the rice if you are in that area. And you can message me. The phone number is there. Inbox me on WhatsApp. And I will give you tell you where to go drop it. Or you can send us the money. And we will we'll, we'll arrange it ourselves. I have people. My foundation is there in Nigeria. I have a registered foundation. And my NGO. I have an NGO. And it is registered. My NGO is Give Life Mini Foundation. That is my NGO. So it is being powered by Power and Grace Evangelistic Ministry. So you are powering our NGO. Our NGO is what we are using for outreaches on behalf of our NGO to go, you know, do whatever we need to do, build orphanages, build shelters, do everything we need to do, go on mission trips. It is being powered by this ministry. So we are philanthropists. <laughs> so whatever God lays in your heart for them, anything, nothing is too big, please. Nothing is too big and nothing is too small. Whatever you know you can sincerely afford is welcome. It will go a long way in helping those people. All right? So some of you, thank you. A sister gave us one bag of rice this afternoon. May God replenish your purse. A sister gave us bags of multiple stuff based on the amount she gave me the last time. Like she gave, a sister donated 400 and something euros, $500 after taking the change and the uh, after taking the exchange rate and, all, it be, and conversion, it became 400 and a few cent euro plus. A sister gave us 50 euro this afternoon for a bag of rice. So see, we are moving forward, but it's not enough. We need more. And we are going to, the date of this uh, outreach is going to be on, on Thursday next week. So we need everything in by Tuesday so that Wednesday we can go and organize those things in the market so that it will be ready for Thursday. Because they need to buy, we need to buy packaging because they have to open the bag and package it. So what will we buy, what we distribute, we determine by how much we have. So that is why I'm encouraging us to do something. $50, 50 euro, 60, 100, 1,000, 1 million, 10, 20. The 16th is the date we're doing the outreach, which is next week, Thursday. So we want to gather everything before next week, Thursday. This is what God says we should do to support ourselves. This is what the apostles of old were doing. They were breaking bread. They were sharing things in common. They were selling their things, their property, and they will bring the money to at their apostles' feet. I am your apostle of today. I am your apostle of today. Hallelujah. That is our payment details. Our, 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 we have, um, if you are in the UK, you need my bank details. Let me know. I will send you my bank account in the UK. That's our, our, we have a PayPal, we have Cash App, and uh, our NGO, that is Give Life Mini is our foundation. That is our account number for the foundation. Give Life Mini Foundation is there. Give Life Mini Foundation is there. Praise the Lord. So whatever God lays in your heart is welcome. And the Lord will bless you in return. This is not for me. This is for these people that are suffering. I will also contribute. But I cannot do it all alone. I cannot do it by myself. If I'm to do it by myself, then I cannot reach much people. But if we join hands together, 
we can reach much people. They don't go to work, they don't do anything. And yet, in Benin City, no government has given anybody anything. So many families are suffering and crying for hunger. And they have children. They have children. We that is here in Europe, that we are still working from home, we are still getting paid, we are still, we are still financially okay, let us support them. This is what the apostles of old did. And if you are a born again child of God, this should excite you. Whenever it is mentioned to support somebody or help somebody or help the poor, help the widow, you should be excited because you are fulfilling scriptures. You are fulfilling the word of God. And I pray that God will touch your hearts and help you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. See you 12 midnight tonight for prayer for the nations. Want to pray intercessory prayer for the nations. So get ready. Don't say, oh, it's prayer for the nation. Let me go and sleep. Are you not part of the nation? Is your family, your family not part of the nations? Your brothers and your sisters, are they not part of the nations? Your cousins, nephews and nieces, are they not part of it? They are scattered across the world. So you, it is important that you come tonight at 12 midnight. So you have enough time. You have five hours to rest now before we come back. God bless you all. See you at 12 midnight. And there is power in midnight prayer. So we are coming for warfare. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you later. Have a wonderful day. And please contact me if you have any message or anything um, concerning uh, how you uh, uh, at the what is it called now? The community outreach. If you have any question, or maybe you don't have PayPal, you don't have Cash App, and you don't know how uh, you can send your money, you can send through one of our follower in the U.S. You can, if you're in the U.S., you can send through. They say you can send through uh, Facebook, and then you can send through Walmart. You just send it. She gives you your details, and she can go pick it up, and she sends it to me on. Um, she sends it to me on. Um, what do you call it? On PayPal. All right. So our PayPal details, Cash App. Bank details, Nigeria bank details are there. So be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. Don't be a part of the problem by going out without your hand gloves and without keeping your social distance. Be a part of the uh, be a part of the solution. The Lord will see us through this season. Trust me, when I say it's going to pass very soon, it's going to pass. God is already making a way of escape. In Jesus' name, God bless you. I love you guys. If you have not shared, make sure you share this broadcast. And all the other broadcasts, the ones we have done before, the ones that we have already done before, share them. Oh, she's leaving her details there. On Facebook, for Facebook, it's Maria Notage. And then you contact her. And then she pick it up. I don't know how it works. So, so Facebook can do transfer. Now, wow, civilization. Okay, now, God bless all of you. See you later. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Stay blessed.